Good morning. How are you? Okay. Uh, I'll take an extra large with extra four. Large? Yeah, four cream, four sweet okay. milk. Thank you. Oh, I got to take an Uber selfie. I do. Thank you for verifying. Uber's got the best uh, facial recognition of all the apps, I do believe. Hi, Hi, honey bunny. How are you? See you later. Thank you.
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Start our day. Starbucks is open now. Huh. I wonder what that means. Turn my phone. No, Uber. Fuck off. Look at that. 9.3 miles for $5.18. Somebody's not getting their uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, nobody's taking that shit. Decline.
Let's go, Instacart. Fuck off, Uber. The dashing felon. Hey, 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 what's going on? because I'm not a top dasher this month and um hey Swifting thanks for coming so yeah I'm not top dash this month so I started my 530 dash but what I've been doing since they have unlimited pauses now it doesn't do the whole 35 minutes total during your dash uh since they have unlimited now they uh I'll be able to just keep on unpausing my DoorDash and repausing if I have something else going on, like Instacart with Walmart Spark. But I just got this banger Walmart Spark right now, uh, which I didn't think those words even like would go together ever. Banger Walmart Spark. What's going on, what's, dude? You can fit. What's your banger Walmart Spark?
All right. But yeah, it is 35, 36. It's 7.8 miles. One pickup, three drop-offs, though, you know? But it's just all around my city, so I don't really care. I'll probably turn the DoorDash on halfway through or something, look for some, uh, or an Instacart on or something like that. Or start looking for some roadies. During that. Uh, roadie? Um, yeah, let me I was using all apps on. indiscriminately while I do the DoorDash um, schedule. While I do the DoorDash schedule, I have. Yeah. No, fuck off, Spark. What's going on, man? Welcome. Never seen you here before, so thank you for coming. On. Uh, if you like videos like this or tips and tricks on DoorDash and stuff, give me a like and subscribe. And go check out the Gig Wars app and shit, too. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun. Right now, I'm on a $35 Walmart Spark order. I'm going ahead to pick up now. It says it's ready in the app, so that's good. And I am only four minutes late, so <laughs> that's good considering I picked up from my house. I can't believe I picked up this order from my house. No one wanted this shit. Hell. They must have not saw I was staying all in town, you know? What up, Red? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I, I think I, I think I've seen you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, welcome to my channel. This is what I do sometimes in my little night stream. Oh, it says there my my rain. Uh oh, I didn't even bring my umbrella. Somebody else take that garbage. Umbrella, my umbrella. <laughs> I bring it for the customer's food. Aw, you use an umbrella? <laughs> You're a good kid. Bam, bam, <laughs> bam. Spot number one. Spot number one. Uh, let's see what this shit is. How small that one? Uh oh. Here they come. Fuck. We're hey, how's it going? To... Yeah, 2460. We're listening to The Dashing Felon on YouTube. The Dashing Felon. <clears throat> so, how big are these? 2460, yeah. Uh... I think they would fit in like two catering bags and like just a little spot in the trunk or something like that. Because that's what I usually do is catering bags in the back seat. Yeah, like look. Exactly, yeah. So I usually put these big ass catering bags. Yeah. No, I, I just put this right here, and then I, I'm going to pop the trunk and clear spot for it. Exactly, see what I mean? Yeah. I can clear a spot.
Sorry about that, guys. Okay. came to save you in case you can get back up within five minutes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I uh, had to figure out. There was two people, so, like, they were, like, on me more than usual, you know? Like, like I, I think one of them would have noticed I was recording or something, you know? Bitched about it. That's really what I was worried about. Because one of them seemed cool, and then the other one was like less cool. Maybe it was a like boss or something. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. I scanned all these fucking labels already. God damn it. Don't. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. Sorry, I'm gonna have to refresh. Fuck. You know, I always ask you this. I always ask you this, and other people, and I'm sorry if this is the way, I gotta make sure I'm annoying you. You cannot hear yourself, right? What'd you say? You can't hear yourself? Like an echo? No. Can you hear yourself? No, can you hear yourself? Honest question. No. Okay. I'm always gonna ask that because I don't want to be annoying. To anybody's problem. yeah yeah no, I hear you. Uh, and, and that's what we mean by echo if, if we say there's no echo good yeah i know yeah see echo is the the <laughs> it's a universal fucking term and everybody gets yeah. all weirded out when i say other things besides the universal term i love not saying <laughs> the universal term. so like if somebody's like hey man are you full i'm like do you mean is my belly at the maximum capacity, and I make them answer me. <laughs> you mean I'm full? No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean, can you eat anymore? Or no. I see you now. I see you. You're gonna get me again. I love, I love bumping people off the track, man. And uh, I do. Only people. I respect only people I right. like. Only people I like. I like you very much. So. I'm gonna fucking try to fuck you up all the time. <laughs> As you should. Um, I like red too. Oh. Uh, yeah, red's cool as fuck. You're live. We're, we're live. We're live right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I like red too, man. She's a good lady. She's dumb. Internet dumb though. So <laughs> yeah. educated on the internet and shit. Dude, it's hilarious. Red, you're gonna be watching this too because somebody's gonna be like, Oh, he was talking shit, but I'm not talking shit. Talking shit is like talking behind somebody's back, right? That's when you're talking behind somebody's He's talking back. about me. Um I'm I like talking in front, of, in front of red. You guys, it was so funny, dude. Earlier you're like, it's weird. I get that thumbs up thing on my screen when I do a thumbs up now. And she's like Oh, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Red, do it sideways. And she go, and she went, 
I swear, look back on it. She goes, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't do it right now for me on the Android. I think it's on the iPhone. <laughs> oh, dude, it was it was gold. I was cracking up with <laughs> right here. In the that yeah, no, the the Bitcoin thing was like the thing that was like trying to be. Oh, I missed yeah. that. One. I missed that. Oh, you did? Because I was just trying to tell her that she doesn't even need to use one of those complicated Bitcoin wallets anymore. Right? She can just use Cash App. What she was she, she right? trying to she order? Uh, actual. She was trying no, to order a standalone wallet. Site. She was just trying to put money on this poker site, but she already had a wallet somewhere, right? But it was a oh. coin based wallet yeah. or something, you know? So it like probably like some fucking hash to get into. Out of you know, like, and I was like, Well, don't you have a catch up? And then she's like, Yeah, and then I'm like, Well, why don't you just buy it on catch up and it send it to that way, right? And then she's like, Oh, I, I don't know, I can just send it to my Coinbase wallet. And I was like, Yeah, you can do that later, you know, or you can go put it to catch up from there, you know, you could withdraw oh. it, from catch up, you know, and then like, yeah, and then, you and you know, she's that. like, that, that, That's, that's, yeah, that's no. complicated. And I told her, I didn't come on telling her, I'm gonna keep record it and send it to you. I'm a free throwing city here. Don't trip. I got you. You know, and then, and then, uh, but she was trying to tell me like the oh. way she usually does it, right? And I was like, yeah, I get it. You know, yeah, I get it. <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I, I. I. That's one of her more endearing features. <laughs> her naivety I, 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 of just the internet. Dude, I think we have to. I think she's worthy. That anything she doesn't understand, that we just have to do it for her. Yeah, just that's, do it that's for to, me. That's totally acceptable. Don't fucking um, try to teach no, me. Because doing that for my mom right she's now. She smart. Was she dead like a lot of, she's, she's smart, you know, she's smart <laughs> as fuck, but she just like can't like get the wrap her hand around the computer aspect of everything, you know? But like everything else, she's pretty it's good so at it. It's crazy you know? that she's, like, uh, that, at the same time, she's the high. It seems like, um, like from the outside looking in, she's one of the highest earners out of all y'all. Yeah, and it's crazy. It's totally, man. <laughs> That's right. It's Except crazy. You can see him with my It reminds I'm me of my mother, man. My mom would fucking. Uh, not act, she'd act like she didn't know what was going on the whole time. She knew exactly what the fuck was going on better than anybody. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that's why she was earning so much. She's just playing everyone, playing stupid when, <laughs> in the in real time. <laughs> she's fucking yeah. got everybody. Man just got really good at the app. They're just the gig app, you know what I mean? Like she just got really yeah. good at you and picking the word right orders, you know, like and I, I, I can't blame her, you know, like, it's, it's, you know, like, Dude. yeah, she didn't know anything about computers, she picked up a fucking phone and started making money with it, you know what I mean, like, that's great. Dude, I have the most respect for real hustlers, um, yeah. like, people call it side hustles, side hustle, people just used to hustle, that's it, I mean, you know, it was just the name of the game, hustling, and, uh, Jack. You wake up. You wake up in the morning. From the time you woke up, the time you went to sleep, dude, you're just stealing for people uh, in a creative way, to where you didn't get caught. Uh, I'm sure you're privy of some practices. Yeah. I used to. Dude, this is. There's, there's so many stories to talk about on the Monday nights that are coming up. Um, like uh, how I used to resell cotton candy. Think about that. You have to log that into your brain and bring it back up, or it'll it'll come back up. I'll make a list of things you know we can talk about. But uh, like for instance, the uh, the resale. Think about can you eat cotton candy and then sell it again? No. So how do you do? I that? used to. Sure. I mean, I used to. I mean, it's, it takes a lot of thinking on like how that's possible. Jump on the floor and then make your cotton candy with it. You're close. You're damn close. Ugh. God, it's horrific sounding. Isn't it? Oh, I heard. I did listen Think to your that. video about People that. People spit yeah. in your cotton candy. No, no, no. Oh, I, I can tell it here. I used to reuse the columns. It's all, it's all about 
inventory. It's not about the yeah. sugar. So you would find the cones. Like sometimes you know how the cotton candy comes off the cone clean. Yeah, Fuck, we're not doing that. Order. Yeah, so that's what you find in inventory. You know, the inventory is what's counted. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's how you. Yeah, you already explained it. That's how you were like, kind of like embezzling, like uh, halfway. You know, like right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like so I, I would carry you were selling your phone and pop it and drop it and, and pocket the pocketing that and that the cones were what they counted. That's right. Uh, so that's not that yeah. bad. Yeah. No, no. I was so I was just like accounting for an extra coin that, that I Yeah, I would put it back in inventory. So I'd pick it up underneath the bleachers, I'd but put a black like, dot on it market. and I'd throw it back in inventory. And then if it was and you park it. Yeah. Oh, we have yeah, this you, you, know, you got cheddar. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that with anything. I, or you I'm used to be able to do that with anything. Yeah. Now everything's got a fucking microchip in it. Like, oh, I can't hear you anymore all of a sudden. One sec. <clears throat> you can't hear me? I can't hear you. Hold up. What are you doing, Billy Butt Chug Cheese? Can you hear me now? We can hear you. Oh, I can't, can't believe somebody took that shitty fucking okay, offer. On. Hello? Yeah. It's a red is so dumb. A log back in. Holy shit, I can't believe how bad it is out here this week. I'm only at $500. I mean, I haven't worked that many hours because it's been so damn slow, but Jesus Christ. I can't hear you. That's the thing. Like, I can't hear anything right now. So weird. Hold on. Let me just fucking nip this in the bud right now. Bam. Bye. Yeah, I just can't hear anything right now. It's weird. All right, 
Don't know if you find that on Bel Air either, but. Fuck, we're not doing that order. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, I forgot I have my fucking tablet. Idiot. Holy fuck, 40 minutes in and no order. Red is funny. She's dumb as shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Billy. Right now, I'm on my tablet. Man, I was totally respectful. Like when you totally when when you when you went blank and you couldn't hear me before. Mm -hmm. I didn't do, I didn't do anything disrespectful. No fart noises or anything, man. Be proud. I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> No Instacart, we're not doing that order. So my spring cleaning's fucking gone, dude. You have to do that shit. Spring cleaning. I'd say no, right? Felon sounds like a robot. Felon sounds like a robot. Next thing I was going to ask him about is Red Dead Redemption. Because uh, I'm an old dick that plays the shit out of Red Dead Redemption. Because it reminds me of the old days. <laughs> So, I mean, I feel like that. I feel like that. 
can, dude. Hey, dude. I said, God damn, dude. It's annoying. Like being fun and just taking a shit on me. Yeah, it's definitely your signal. I, I like look back on your stream and. Uh, oh, yeah. If, no, it was it was time. my connection to my Bluetooth just stopped. It was weird. Uh, it's not it, weird. It was like not. Kind of, yeah, you know to do that. I mean, as far as, as far as the signals of signals, Bluetooth is not it. Bluetooth is like a subpar. Across. Yeah, like you can either have a super soaker, a water hose, or spit, and Bluetooth is like the spit version of signals. I hear that. What's the the <laughs> the squirt to mouth signal? Is definitely fiber optic. <laughs> when I mouth. say yeah, when I say jokes like that, and I look at myself in the mirror, it's like, dude, you're way too old to be saying jokes like that. Now people are gonna take the wrong way. Fucking look gross. <laughs> you look like a part of old dick. Can't say that. Make uh, make beer, make beer jokes. So, okay, okay, devil. All right. Yeah, I'm probably not even gonna end up working. I'm gonna see if I get any good offers on Instacart and stuff for a second right now, but. I'm thinking just call it a night. Because, yeah. Gang, gang, what's going on? Everyone got a haircut? I got a few months. You told me you got a haircut yesterday. You told me you got a haircut. Yeah. Here, go show the audience your haircut. Stand right here. No, over more. There we go. Everybody like his haircut? <laughs> Hi, honey. It is dead as fuck. I don't start until 10. Dude. My live stream is 51 minutes long. Uh -huh. I ain't done shit. Yesterday was long. I didn't go live to YouTube. Because yeah. I worked till midnight. That's what I typically do. Yeah. I went home at like 3.30 or something. Yeah, with the rain and everything, I've had better days. Yeah. It was a lot more busy. <laughs> I'm waiting on some banging Instacart orders. I'm listening to the Dashing Felon. Do me a favor. Subscribe to the Dashing Felon on YouTube. He's starting a Monday night podcast with, uh, with a fellow named Billy.
yesterday. Even if I was in California time, even if I was in California time right now, but you know, I didn't quit. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, a minute. Ago. I would have quit two hours ago, even if I was in fucking Tokyo. Well, I took a break. I'm you know? yeah, like, like like we said, dude, like we spoke of, well, like we're three to four hour dudes. And you place those three to four hours in fucking uh, the time, you know, the fucking money making time. And uh, it's either lunch or dinner. And fuck your dinner, even your dinner, even your dinner fucking menu's over with. But there's still meth heads, right, that still order this late, <laughs> I think. He said, he said, even your dinner hour is done in California. He goes, but there are meth heads that order late. Are you listening on yours or mine? No, I uh, heard it on Yeah. <laughs> well, I actually heard him say Methods, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, every market is different, but... Um, Sometimes one people... <laughs> say what? Well, they got that Prop 22, so they have to earn a minimum hourly wage before tips. Like, they don't even factor in any tip money from the customers. Have you tried that thing uh, since I started back up that you can earn by the hour? Yeah, I only do it when there's a peak pay. Oh, okay. Because oh, peak pay, it, it doubles it. Um, anyway, and then they also get paid 34 cents a mile. So, as Seattle has something like that, New York State has something like that. Well, because the drivers got to get together and push for it. But I mean, I, I don't, I don't really want anybody in my life like that. Correct. Just let it be. Those of us that can figure it out will do well. Those of us that can't, get the fuck out. Sometimes when people drop out of the live stream, I like to stroke my beard like this contemplating things of the Shire. How, how green the moss is. And then I tease my beard like this with my fingers. And I say, hmm. Hmm. 
How much money could I make on a single dash in the Shire? How many pigs? How many pigs could I deliver to the Shire to the Shire residents in thy wagon? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start driving home and just fucking probably take it for the rest of the night. Played Red Dead at some point. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm so excited for you and Red Dead. What'd you say? How much is DoorDash worth? Oh, it's a billion dollar company. Motherfuckers. So how long does it take to get out of the shitty first part? Uh, first night, if you're dedicated, first night, because there's like four, you know, four or five different segments where you're still just on this mountain with uh, your caravan of people, and you find like a uh, an abandoned settlement with the buildings, and you take refuge in that for They're about four or five off. missions, and then the spring comes. So it's the first chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you, there we go. So chapter one is all snow. So just get through the first chapter. When you see chapter two pop up, you can rest easy and go to sleep knowing you're going to wake up to green trees in the game because it's depressing, dude. It's super depressing. All that snow and gray for so long. You know, if you have a good TV and you're into games... Your, if your if your game consists in snow with no sun, it, it, uh, it, I mean, your brain tells you your brain tells you that you should be the pro. Yeah, yeah, and it does it. it, it I mean, I don't know how they pulled it off, but it really works. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody says, uh, "Red Dead Redemption Two." Uh, rips vitamin D from its users' brains because it really fucking depresses the hell out of you. But if you can get through it, they also have equal uh, respect on making people come out of that depression by like accurately depicting the sun in 4K okay, and um, showing fucking spring slowly come on around you to where you just fucking... You can almost feel the temperature and smell it. It's so it's so awesome. Yeah. If you like, you can go to the barber and shave your pubes, and then take a bath and see your pubes grow. Wait, Not literally, what? but it's that it's, <laughs> it's that detail. Sweet. Uh. The hardest thing about that game, I mean, as far as like, um, I mean, it's hard. Don't get me wrong, in, in spots, but like uh, the the most abrasive part of it is making the character look like you. Everything else is very, very user friendly. All right, I don't care about that. Can you play as oh, uh, both genders? Not in story. So you have to play as Arthur Morgan and John. Cause I usually I usually pick a female character so I can watch like a hot female running around. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> <laughs> in, in um in online mode, you can do that. You choose your gender and all that stuff. But as far as the story goes, the story is the story of Arthur and John, and you have to play that out. Unfortunately. All right, that's cool. But you can still go to the barber and make yourself look like you want. No. <laughs> it, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a fallout in that sense. So you like you can go to the barber and like become a girl if you want to, but you're still playing. Our <laughs> yeah. No. All right. Let's go look at the house. All right. I just wanted. It, I thought it'd be cool to have like a Jesse 
that what 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 is like a cowgirl? Like that that would be badass as being like a fucking badass chick running around killing people. You know, oh, you're looking you're looking for uh, what's her fucking name? Damn, she was just Jesse fucking, uh, Jesse Calamity James Jane. Calamity, Calamity, Calamity Jane. Jane, yeah. Calamity Jane, you're right. Yeah, he's the one that like that shot Nichols behind her head and shit. Yeah, like she would face away from people and look in a mirror, and then you would flick a nickel in the air and she would shoot it by looking in the mirror. My sister has a similar skill. She could get a BD just by looking at a guy across the shopping mall. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that ought to come in handy, huh? Dude, it's crazy, man. <laughs> She also, <coughs> she had, dude, she's the only woman I know <coughs> that got fucking uh, diabetes by uh, just watching hot dog commercials. <laughs> Her baloney has a first name. It's D I A B E. Sorry. Her baloney has a second name. It's D I T C. I don't like my sisters. I mean, I love my no. sisters very much. You know? Yeah. You have feel the love from here. Well, oh yeah, you got, you got, you got. I got a small sister, a little baby sister raising me, you know, like. I view her a little differently, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. That's perfect. Mine were older, older bitches. Ugh. Yeah, I can imagine. Ugh, imagine that. Ugh. No, go lay down, Leo. You don't need out. My dog wants outside because there's bears out there. Mm. That seems like a smart plan. He's dumb, though, because he can't even fucking handle a vacuum. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? You catch that video? I pissed his fucking drawers twice. Oh, sir. There we go. Yeah, dude. I, that was a test. I was like, oh, let's just see what Leo thinks of the vacuum stunt, right? I saw the vacuum mm -hmm. stunt on, um, on TikTok, and I was like, oh, that'd be fun to do to Leo. Let's see what happens. And I just started back because I was already vacuuming in there. I waited for him to lay down in his crate. <laughs> and I started doing it, and I pulled that stunt. Dude, he immediately wussed out. Like, I could hear it coming out of his, his nose. He's staring at me right now because I'm talking about it. It's like, I did not. <laughs> I did not. I did good, man. I was going to kill that thing. Totally fucking copped out. What is she doing? I'm at my house now. Are you out of here? No. <laughs> I was like so afraid she's gonna hit my car. That's so bizarre. Yeah. I was just go give her a field you, sobriety test, will you? Movements. <laughs> will you go give that bitch a field sobriety I'm test? To learn that. You guys what? Tell yourself, you guys tell each other what you're doing. I yeah, I see that. I mean I've noticed. Kinda, yeah. Cool. I will yeah, almost I'm back my car up because I didn't it, trust her. I like you guys. I'm fucking end up fucking joining in on the team oh, eventually. Yeah, no, we just like act like we're just fucking oh. all kicking it. You yeah. know? Say what? I uh, shot my shot with one of the employees over here yesterday. 
What do you mean you shot your shot? This is my second one from Applebee's. What do you mean you shot your shot? Do you mean you, 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 what is the word you guys say? Um, smashed? <coughs> no, that's, we're not, I'm not there yet. That's, damn, oh. that's a reach. I just started talking with her yesterday. You flirted with? Yeah, I gave her my number. Okay, did she, did she contact you? Yeah, she did. Oh. I'm shocked, yeah, because a lot of, I'm, I'm respectful about it, because there's, you know, good looking females, you know, everywhere I go, whatever, so I ask, I'm always respectful, you know. If I'm gonna shoot my shot, I I first ask if you're single or not, and then you know they're like, uh, thank you, you're so kind, and, and they, they still end up flirting with you, you know they got a man. And then you know my my favorite cute thing to say, I'm like, I say, um, I tell them I want to be your number one draft pick when you break up. It sounds <laughs> so bad, but it's funny. Oh my god, you're so corny. It, it gets them every time. It makes them laugh. You feel me? Hold on, I gotta review this order. Oh my god, I thought that was a chick driving. No, look, he can't even stand straight. You saw that, right? Yeah. Probably coked up out of his mind. Something's wrong. Well, he's working at Applebee's, I would assume. Probably working in the kitchen. So, um, are you on the app? I gotta finish my medication. Oh, okay. Because I'm throwing you at 825, five and a half miles that I'm not doing. Well, I just locked down, so then I might take it. I would suggest you don't take it either. You were like, I see this in both. See, that's why, that's why you and me get along. Why? It's because you're like a mom I never had. Aw. I'm serious, though. Well, then I better get some fucking flowers on Mother's Day or I'm throwing you back up for adoption. Damn, that's <laughs> Like I noticed you're like, all right, stopping at Circle K. Use it. I'm taking a pee pee. I am taking you can go ahead and take it. Yeah, I wouldn't take it. I want to break the ice. Yeah, go ahead. My, my first delivery. That's not too yeah. bad. If you were in the McDonald's parking lot, it would be a diamond order. Yeah, it's not too bad. You just gotta come back. You're not gonna get anything. Go ahead. Bye bye. Oh, you know, Hold on, I might be going to McDonald's. Fuck. I'm going to Coltsville, though. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, it's Coltsville. I didn't pay that close attention. All right, I'll see you, Mom. All right. See you, see you, kiddo. Make a lot of money for me. Oh, did you hear anything about the shooter? No, I looked into it because there's one guy in Kotul called uh, Ir Irish Eyes Chesco. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and I didn't see nothing on, on his end. No? Okay. Maybe, listen, where did you hear it? Because there was a, there were two homicides here, but it was last week. There yeah. There were back-to-back -back shootings, but it was last week. It wasn't, it wasn't this week. But you said you saw the, I see a lot you of saw couples. troops. I, I did see the timing of it, yes. I saw unusual amount of cup work. <clears throat> it came across a police oh. wire. Yeah, well, maybe they haven't posted And the it info publicly. got to me. Yeah, I don't know. I look, like I said, anytime something local happens, I check out the Irish guy. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't post nothing. Uh, that's a, I didn't even, I didn't even look at him. Yeah, just don't forget, that's what... He's always usually good with that kind of stuff. So. He is really good with that kind of stuff. Yeah, with accidents and whatnot. He should make people pay for that service, for real, for real. I'm not sure how he really makes his money. But anyway, I'm out of here. You know what? I'm going to get one, too. All right. I'm going to yours. <laughs>
two drivers on the move at the same time, same parking lot, going to the same restaurant. That's kind of weird. I don't think I said pee pee. I would never say pee pee. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I just made that up. Uh, or like, uh, I got an order right now. I just want to survive in this place. Watch. <clears throat> I'm not even going to get out cool. of my car. That's cool. I guess what you're trying to do there. To get my shit. If I'm wrong. What you're trying to do there is like, uh, you're like telling everybody what you got so they can accept something better. Damn it. Is that right? Hello? It's like, I think what you guys are trying to do Brilliant. there, though, when you do that, is uh, telling everybody else what you got so they can accept something better. Right? Like a competition kind of thing? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what I've surmised Gig Wars is about. Like uh, influencing others to do good. Do gooder. <laughs> I did good. We're doing good. Hello? I hear you. Jesus Christ, man. Can you see me? I can't even see my computer anymore. It disappeared. Yeah, I can't hear the music or anything right now. It's fucking stupid. Oh, no, I see you just fine. I just fucking ran. Shoot. Shoot, it's fine. Over here, if I watch my feet, I bet you it's... Oh, no, look at that. It's all fucked up. Oh, no. I can dance. No, I'll stop dancing now. All right, now I can't. It's just dumb. How this keeps on happening. I was starting to, I was going to strip. <laughs> I was going to uh, do a little warm up dance and then go get a pole from the closet. Hook up the pole to the ceiling because it's one of those pressure things. Got it from uh, Billy Mays. Billy Mays. Uh, Billy Mays. <laughs> Flex, yeah, Billy Mays uh, flex pole. Got the mighty Billy Mays that got taken out by a suitcase. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. It's, it's, it's all of who you ask. <laughs> that is not the way I want to yeah. go. <laughs> I mean, let's get hit in the head with a suitcase and die hours later. I know, I know, I know. Hey, it's all like court stuff. Can't, you know, it's all speculation. <laughs> Trash order, damn. That's one of my favorite fucking forms of comedy, man. Juxtaposition. Where you fucking you let the you let whoever you're talking to like build up the hatred toward a, a subject, and you like yeah 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 you agree you agree until their hatred for that subject is and then as soon as they say oh yeah Trump stole the election or whatever they're going for it is like whoa 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 you know I mean yay hey 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 you know it's all in like like the best was dudes for like Epstein type of shit like where it's really outrageous. You're like this guy, oh, you know, this guy fucked a bunch of kids on the side of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, he must have been a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally fucking up. Did you like, say allegedly? Oh. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. <laughs> oh, the, the, the Sandy... This Sandy Hook thing is crazy, you know, all these kids. Oh, they were allegedly kids. I heard some were over 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
the kind God, of shit. It's terrible. Oh, it is. It is so terrible. But it throws people so off. In the hard. best way. So, like, I, I, I like that shit. As long as you smile afterwards, like, I'm just kidding. Then it's okay. That, that's that's comedy in its finest. That. The forbidden act of public that you talk about. Yeah, that's what I have the gift of. I can see comedy in everything. I can literally like see the irony, see the fucking like just in everything that happens. Like I can see like some way to make it funny, you know, like it's just like that's why I have such a fucking good sense of humor. And like I'm like, even when people are like like I find people that are like angry funny too and they hate it. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, nothing nothing pisses off an angry person more than when you laugh at them. And tell them they're ridiculous, you know, like you're being ridiculous or <laughs> they're like, Why are you laughing? Because you're being ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you even on this earth? <laughs> at some point uh, it is. This whole life is really fucking ridiculous. And it's so funny to me that people can't see that. And people that get so mad. Their whole fucking, oh no, I'm going to lose my fucking house. No, 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 no. Oh, she got really because you got kids and shit. No, I have no kids. Like, what the fuck are you worried about? You have nothing to lose then. Shut the fuck up. This is all a video game. It really is. <laughs> I mean, like real life, I treat it like a video game and it sure as fuck acts. It's like Sim City. Uh, uh, make these tires and bring the money to the courthouse. Then you can buy a house. That's exactly. <laughs> it is, and you got you, and boom, you got the money. Um, if you get down and out, they give you a fucking like side quests. We have side quests, and if you do the side quests, and that's what we are side questions uh you fill in the gaps with money and you're still good uh, i love this life it's a total game and you meet uh just like you'll see you and i 
oh, you're going to love this. Once you start playing Red Dead, you're a white circle, bro. You're a white dot. And yeah. I'm a white, and I'm a white dot. But there's also a chance that both of us are yellow dots. And, uh, and so that's what? part what of Red Dead. About? Like, uh, in Red Dead, the, the definite missions are the missions you have to do are all yellow dots. And, uh, everyone, like, you'll be, you'll ride, be riding your horse down the road. And then you'll run into a white dot, and it's up to you to stop for that white dot and make it a mission. It's like a side quest. Uh, so it's like <laughs> we're like uh, you're on your you're on your yellow your yellow dot group. I'm like a white dot that fucking popped in, and I apologize, but thanks for stopping for me. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I get it. Oh. Uh, you don't think you did it? Oh, sorry. Well, shoot me in the fa- shoot me in the face with your uh, Lancaster repeater, <laughs> and, and I'll disappear immediately. Immediately. Wait, like, so what's up with the dots? Like, what are they? I don't get it. Oh, in Red Dead, everything's uh, classified by dots on the map. Yeah. So then, like, you see, uh, we're yellow dots, and then we see a white dot. What's up with that? Well, you another dots. person. Yellow dots are things that you have to complete to complete the game. Those are main missions. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So when you're on your way to those yellow dots, though, you'll get white dots off the side on your mini map, and it's up to you to stop for them. Sometimes they're great missions that make you a lot of money. Sometimes you end up in jail, or sometimes you just pass them by. It's all right, I didn't, do, I didn't do too bad today. Made one eleven. That's really good. On my scale, that is. Yeah, but I worked a good amount of hours. That's double what I do on an average. Yeah, but I work like five hours to, I think. Maybe uh, more. Five, five hours is also double what I do on yeah. average. Exactly. That's why I just did all right. So, so five hours is what I would. Uh, so a hundred bucks is what I would do in five hours, basically. That's the only. I would just get my. If ass it, off. if if you're not like uh, picking bad times. Other people disagree with me, but I think that the best way to dash is by splitting it up around the day, throughout the day. Wake up for a morning shift, because there's usually breakfast and coffee orders, and they tip well, man. Because they're just trying to get up to that $12 minimum at the dash pass or whatever, you know? So, like, uh, They don't give a fuck. They're expending to pay. They're expecting to pay twenty bucks, you know. So like, usually they'll just round it out. You know what I mean? Say pay, pay you six dollars on a twelve dollar order, like shit, like that, you know. So it goes up to the twenty. I think my favorite way to dash is on a broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Yeah, man. You fly around on that motherfucker, and then like sometimes when you come up on some young kids, you like throw a, a feathery golf ball out in front of you, and be like, and you go, "Quit it!" 
and like it just depends on who it depends on what the house is about you know like if you should roll up on a house that's like suburban and shit you could start saying uh you burned my you burned my grandma you burned my grandma they get it they get a kick out of that uh just don't say So I man, tell me if I'm wrong. But out of all, out of everybody on gig wars, man, Red's got to be the biggest star, right? Like I said, probably like a Red or Gigan. Oh yeah, Gigan seems like he's got his shit together, but he's never on the. He's never. Yeah, on because the, he's doing like Amazon routes and shit. Oh, so he's just like never online. That's all. But meanwhile, yeah. when, he, when he's not online, he's doing high-paying gigs. Yeah, he's fucking killing it out there. Kicking is yes. killing it out there. That's kind of the route I want to take. I want to be a part of y'all, man, because y'all, you guys are fucking really cool. But um, at the same time, like I see you doing, you disappear a lot because I know you. I was like, oh, this money making time. It's money making time, and you uh, boom, you, like poof, you're gone, and then you show back up when the money's made, and. It seems like that's the way to go. Instead of leaving the camera on all the time, because I don't have the fucking means for that. For one, like I mean, I got. What do you mean? Well, I got cameras out the ass, but like just trying to connect them, like like how to fucking figure out how to connect them. Um, yeah, but what do you what do you mean when I that I show up after the money's made? I usually just oh, shit. What the fuck was that? I just blew out all my fucking speakers right now. I was trying to turn it up earlier to fucking hear you. I mean, you disappear at times because you got shit to do. That's all. Oh, yeah. I try to get off the screen like when I'm like doing bullshit. You know? Like going into the store real quick. Or, like, you know? Because like people get weird about like dealing with you when you're like talking to a phone yeah yeah of course and then also when you're on somebody's live stream and you're talking to somebody else that's interrupting whatever's going on in the stream so i yeah keep with you and uh i'm real careful about entering live streams by the way i don't think we talked about this you have to look up You'd have to look up old streams of, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Cause I don't think anybody in on, you know, in this circle has a problem with it, but you'll have to look yeah. up uh, motorcycle, like motor vlogging live streams from 20, like mid 2010s, uh, called super faggot Sports. And we were a bunch of bikers. Yeah. You told me about this. Yeah. Yeah. We, we got on Monday nights, Monday night lives and we would just say and do whatever we wanted to do, man. And my butthole was shown many times. And it was like a whole stream. And it was on, uh, I think, the, the main host of all those live streams, 90% of them, was E-N. E-N. Right now. E-N. See this? What the fuck? See this? Oh, it's so sad. Yeah. No, this is my phone. It's the Gay Galaxy Fold. Uh, oh, God damn. But, uh, Look, these are 5,000 milliamp power banks. Four of them. And they charge just by putting it on that magnet, right? And then you, it has a USB-C jack where you can just stick it on the bottom of your phone. And then they make one for iPhone, too. The lightning thing. Isn't that sick? It is sick. And you got, right then you got back. fucking four of them? That's great, dude. I have to get this. I'll be right back. I've got a pee out of my penis. Hold on. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. <laughs> oh god. Look, Red. What is that? We you need this in your life. Why? Why do I need that? These are 5,000 milliamp power banks, right? Four of them. So it's 20,000 milliamps of charge, right? 
and then you can just put them on and then get the next one, put them on, get the next one, and they charge net wirelessly on that, that mount that's magnetic. It's super cool. That was excruciatingly uh, horrifying. All good. Red's back. Oh, hey, Red. No, she's not. Oh, she'd be back. Is not, is not. Where is she? I can't see her. Show doobie. Show doobie. Look. <laughs> Look back there. She's not even back there anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a cool little cheaper option. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't want to give, one. <laughs> my ears are itchy because I'm old now. Dang. It's only a hundred and forty-one dollars, but a thirty-dollar coupon you can get a hundred and eleven dollars. So, yeah. That's cool. terrible Instacart offer. Oh How many uh, Amazon shops you have? Like how much shit do I buy on Amazon? A lot. No. How it's many addictive. personal Amazon uh, flex affiliate, affiliate? No, Amazon affiliate shops do you have out there? Oh, two. <laughs> two. <laughs> Yeah, I have made like two dollars. What's the theme on each of them? What? What do you mean? Well, like, are, are they are they themed, or are you just like selling shit? Like I can literally send you a link for anything, and if you click on it and buy something, then yeah, I get a dollar. Basically, okay. I think. So you don't you don't have like a set shop set up to sell niche items on your Amazon? No. Really to get that. Uh, no, I wish. I've all yeah, I don't either. I but I, it's it's obviously a fucking good idea. And then why don't we do that? I mean, how can we know it's a good idea but we don't do it? I ha I've met some, yeah. dude. I've met every person I've met that does fucking affiliate programming. They fucking are said the same thing. No, 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 no. I just send people links when I think it's cool, and that's how I make money. But it's yeah, I'm gonna money. make a video right now. Does not make money that way. You have to. My next polling. My huh? next polling video I'm making uh, is uh, top ten gadgets and gear for dashers and people that work from their car or or live in their car. You know, they could be like anything like that. You know. Yeah. Hey, you know the most money I've ever made on Amazon was when I. I got a hair up my ass. I've not done it again because I didn't want to speak my, on my IP addresses or weighing on my IP address for advertisement. But uh, mm -hmm. what I did was uh, I looked up weird sex toys. Oh my God. And uh, started finding the weirdest ones I could and then copied the affiliate link to those toys and then just started posting them on my clown Facebook, Booze and Bozo which was already debaucherous anyway, so it didn't matter. And, dude, I made like $800 in a month doing that. But then my phone started lighting up with like six advertisements 24 hours a day. Like, all oh, right, I can't do that. I mean, if someone, if someone didn't really care, dude, that's where the money's at is all. I mean, dude, they're right. Sex sells. It's crazy and awful. It's true. If yep. you can do, if you can deal with the stigma, which I can't deal with, well, uh, because then, like right after I made that money, my first child was born. I was like, oh, now we gotta get, try to fucking do something different. And everything. Yeah, I feel you. It's so important, like. having kids is insane because you uh you end up i think it's 
the same with everybody, I would think. Once you have kids, you try to do better than what your parents did for you. And mm -hmm. talk about a chore. Uh, and then you start to understand why your parents didn't do it for you. <clears throat> but as long as you do it for your kids, do better, do better for your kids than your parents did for you. And you're doing great. Yeah. If you don't have kids yet. I, I could do that. I, I'm, I obviously don't have a kid. Right. Okay. But if, yeah, that's what I was getting at. If you don't have kids yet, it's important to not think about that at all. <laughs> Do not even think about it. Disregard it. Live your life as reckless as fucking possible. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're not going to get a chance to do that again. To like live. Yeah, no, I feel you. Just fucking run through brick walls. Like, just fucking like, like push your dick straight through cement embankments. Um, this is it. This is your chance. You're not going to get it again. <laughs> I haven't tapped that on my bucket list yet. I haven't even considered it really. Trust me. <laughs> Shoving my ding there and save me what, Dude, whatever, Nick. Trust me. One day soon, there's going to be a concrete embankment in front of you. And you're going to have a raw car dick. And but not if I have like, kids. And you're going to be like, hmm, I wonder what I should do here. And that's your chance, man. It's your only chance. <laughs> oh, man. Got it. I just got I a $72 batch. $72. $72 stacked batch. Let's take a look at it. You want me to miss out like you did? Or, do people or you didn't miss out? Like, I can hear him. Sex toys. Yep. There you go. Those are uh, very intelligent responses. Intelligent comments. Insightful. I'm looking at these handheld game consoles that they have. I'm sure that's what you're looking at. Yeah. Yeah, because I want to, like, I know I could just get it on my phone. That's what I ought to do. Just to get a Game Boy emulator. I already have one downloaded. What are you trying to do? Excellent. Nothing from the deli. With all this research, are you? On the Xbox? What do you mean? I mean, you can. So it's not cross console. That sucks. I hate that. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so I just got to. I'll keep you filled in on what's going on, though, and how much I love it. You know? But how. I wonder if we can Discord the whole fucking time, dude. Like yeah, yeah. So it's not a bigger deal. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wait till midnight tonight. Uh, you could fucking get on there. I, I don't know when you're planning on getting on it, but I, I do. I can say this: as when soon as we get off this call, it, I'm gonna probably gonna go smoke and then get on. All right. Well, fucking hit me up on Discord, dude. I'll fucking, I'll be playing anyway. I can. Uh, you know, give you yeah. resources and stuff, dude. I fucking got it. Oh, all right. I'm going to do this seventy-two dollar order. Gold that you need to collect right away after you get it, but you're going to be in the snow forever. Tell me, it's like you start to get it. Sucks. Your snow. Well, yeah. to wait a while for that shit. Let me 
message everybody.
Shit, I don't know, Mr. D. I am I'm good. This is Reuters. President Joe Biden, for the first time since the start of the war in Gaza, threatened to condition support for Israel's offensive. Yeah, they do such a good job at it that you feel like you're What up, Mav? I was on a uh, seventy-two dollar Instacart order batch. Just do so I'm about to go drop off the first one, which is around the corner, and then uh, okay. then I got like quite a drive, I got, like a nine mile drive. I mean, it's fucking the old west, fuck sakes. Listening to but Billy and Felon from last that's night. Snow in the mountain and throwing you up in the mountains. Yeah, that's the worst. Imagine being fucking. Mr. D, where was the earthquake? Not <laughs> and when and did it apparently so come? Deep. No vegetables with a bunch of bitches bitching about their period. Yeah, that's <laughs> the worst shit ever. I mean, you don't have to. I'm getting this anonymous hacky hacker simulator. Hacking game, hacking simulator game. Why? Yeah, it's pretty cool. While I was shopping? Shit, where at exactly? We had an earthquake like literally yeah, right here once a couple years ago. Oh, that's that red. She's like, hey, stop talking like that, guys. <laughs> Don't say that, girl. That's a terrible idea. That's great. Man, dude, the wife made fucking pound cake today. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if you ever tried this, dude. I, it seems like it's new to me. It was probably it was so good. It seems like other people do it. Where you dip your pound cake in your fucking coffee, you just order just enough coffee to soak, oh, yeah. up, soak up into a pound cake, and then you eat that shit with the fork. Yeah, I've never done that, like, out here. But when you, when you get cake and ale, like, you always fucking off. put in some liquid, be it yeah. milk, coffee, whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, it Man, so I wish good. this was it so in full. So good. What do you know about Coffee Crisp? Okay, I'll be back. Coffee Crisp? Oh, right. no, that, so that's, uh, crisp. did you check in with Mr. Flex? I don't know if you go to Mr. Flex. He's Jersey. All right. 11 miles. That's interesting to have 11 miles when the offer said 10. There's a cracker that's like a coffee cake. So it's like a, imagine coffee cake as a dehydrated cracker, right? Mm -hmm. 
and then you dip that in like an espresso until it softens back up. So like Oreos and milk kind of effect. Mm-hmm. And then take a bite out of that. Uh, it's a thing, but it's only available in a few cities. So if you've never heard of it, chances are it's not. It's not in California really, as far as I've noticed. But so what you do, you just get it from Amazon and dip it. The best coffee to okay. probably get in is an espresso. And the best espresso you can probably get a hold of would be a Cuban coffee, would be that Cafe Bastella. You know what I'm talking about? You've seen it, bro. Cafe Bastella, yes. That's, yeah. that's espresso. Yeah, it's a, it's a Cuban espresso. And it tastes best. I like it. That. Yeah. So, but I mean, if you can't do that, the poor man's uh, option is just graham crackers. So you get cafe pastello and you dip graham crackers in it and then bite the graham crackers like you would Oreos and milk. It's fucking amazing. Dude, have you played a. Really? I mean, have you. Uh, oh, yeah, you've definitely eaten this. But then my favorite is graham crackers. I don't milk. feel it, honey. So is there oh, yeah. any damage? Yeah. Dude. It's like my favorite breakfast ever, dude. Yeah. And now imagine adding caffeine to that. Yeah, that sounds great. I, oh, I totally agree. Sweet. I'm straight for seven and a half oh, miles. Oh, so fucking satisfying. Dude, it's, it's so cheap right now. Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox One. I should have just got this. 19 bucks? It's like $27. It was full price on. I mean, do you have Do you have uh, Game Pass? No. It's on Game Pass. Yeah. What? Oh man, I wish you would have told me that. I just renewed my Game Pass. Sorry, buddy. Shit. Don't get mad. It's not gonna be pass. Oh, um, they just give a discount on it. It's all the same. I mean, you're gonna have to fucking pay the money either way. You've done the right thing. Okay, never mind. I thought you meant it was like one of the Game Pass games. No, that they no, give no. you. It never. Like what? Been. Even if it was, it, it has never been a Game Pass game. And uh, even if it was, it would be like thirty days. Yeah. Because that's what GTA 5 was. GTA 5 was a Game Pass game when I got my Xbox, uh, whatever it is, Xbox X, and uh, it fucking went off Game Pass a month later, and those motherfuckers tried to charge me. Can you guys hear these guys? Wow. I've five at least twice. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I found a good SSD card. I mean, SSD and I'm going to get it. It's like only like $61, 62 bucks for a terabyte. It's great. Yeah, yeah, that's a good price. Actually, I might just get this brand because it's the same brand as my laptop. It's a $72, $73. When you say yeah, epicenter uh, New, New Jersey, I don't know where you mean the X, exactly. The S is, uh, Does it say a city? Playing it in every, on okay. every device is the most amazing experience. Like what, what New Jersey Remote town? Play. If we could so, field in like, Philly, then it must have been have like right S, over the bridge. You can play picking up from where you left off on any screen in the world. It's yeah. pretty amazing. Fucking love that. So you can, like, you know, on the computer, too, like you can Camden, play Game Pass games. Voorhees. Yes, sure, sure. You can PC it, and then uh, it even, they even give you money, you know, if you play a PC game on Microsoft Xbox app. So, like, if you... Oh, yeah, really? Wow. Yeah, if you wanted to uh, play... Uh, the last time we had an earthquake or, here, and I don't know what the number was. If you was just like, go to Xbox, uh, Microsoft.com, and then hit the Xbox app icon, 
open that up if you have an account. Um, if you don't, you make then more than you six open, years click ago, that button or just open up your Xbox. I app remember my car was moving uh, when it hit, so I didn't feel it. Your game. But the people in then so I went into start, um I remember I went into the hardware store uh, and they're like, Did you just do, feel that? The walls were shaking, uh, the shelves were Minecraft, shaking. I was whatever. Like, no. Then they give you Xbox. But, like, my car was moving. Playing so. it via the Xbox app remote. And then those points are all turned into fucking legit fucking Microsoft money. I've bought, I've gotten mouse, mouses, mouse pads, uh, uh, HDMI cables. So, like, uh, if the ground shook right now, I wouldn't feel it because uh, my, my or, wheels uh, are three moving over the concrete, the right? Pads. And it's not like perfect. It takes about, but warned, be warned, it takes about six months worth of points for one month of Game Pass. Okay. So, it's not like passive income by any means. I was thinking about doing, uh, you can buy a cases for solid state drives oh, for like super yeah, that's cheap, a right? More and have a USB port on them. You know, just plug the solid side drive in, and then screw it in, and then then you got a portable Allentown solid state drive. Airport, right? Right? Yes, making those yeah. and selling them. I think that would be a That's fucking probably the easy, easy, easy hustle, just easy close. come up. But just like what is just straight up markup? Yeah, straight up because they they sell portable ones. Let's think about how much portable ones go for. Yeah, markup is a good plan on any, New York. any, any fucking commodity. Uh, yeah, because like the cheapest one I can find I can't think of, it. of a portable solid state drive uh, it's not far from is downtown. like almost 100 bucks. I thought about kidnapping midgets and then chopping their left leg off so they couldn't run away and then sell them as like Agricultural slaves. What? <laughs> wow. How would that work? Surefire things. And they don't have a leg. Right. I mean, the two little itty bitty legs aren't going to do much more work than one fucking gimpy leg, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I just can't believe they can fit a terabyte on an SD card now. Fucking blows my mind. I know, dude. I have a fucking terabyte hard drive. External terabyte hard drive. That cost me like 20 bucks. I can't fucking believe it. It would be great. The future is nigh. crash in like 15 minutes man okay. oh yeah i forgot the time difference oh yeah it's late here but i'm good for now i got i got, I got, I got another beer or two in, in me oh, right. uh, oh, okay terribly rude Nick. yeah i know my bad <laughs> Grow up. So you, you never uh, had a gaming computer? Well, I'm on one now, but it was almost outdated by the time I bought it. Okay, so I can see how that could shut down uh, Newark, Philly, Allentown. Did it shut down uh, New York Airport? And like Microsoft Surface, so I could play Fallout. Fallout. Fallout series via touch. That's what I wanted to do in my truck. So I got this fucking Microsoft Surface, but then uh, it was a, a Ryzen 7 with uh, Radeon graphics, but then uh, all of a sudden Ryzen 9 came out as soon as I fucking got it. So in 
I got about three years left with it before it's slow. Which is not bad, but... Uh, what kind of uh, get, uh, graphics card does it have? Uh, Radeon. What kind? AMD. The, what's the four numbers? AMDZ. Uh, I don't know about numbers. The numbers around it. I mean, the numbers would be three and a half miles. It'll be like our AMD Radeon, like uh, it'll be like something like a twenty nine, uh, twenty ninety. Yeah. It'll be like 2070, 3010, it's 30, 20, it's 2070. You are the official news of the or gig or economy. It doesn't say. Just, no. Do you hear that, Mr. D? You are the official news of the gig right. economy. Uh, uh, that's pretty good. Hard drive. Right? graphics are you should be able to play most games in like on medium settings at least what the fuck are you two talking about yeah, no, yeah, if not high i mean like you could probably get play most games on high you would have a little lag like right now i have a 2090 uh no no what, what is it uh i have a 2080 or 2090 max q design uh so it's like a little less good than the 2090 uh hold on let me look at my laptop real quick like, what I do uh, like about this whole setup is that it's that everything that um, you obviously know what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm talking about, but it's also all screwed together with a stainless steel um, container, so I can change everything. Yeah, it's totally upgradable. Yeah, same with mine. It's so great. Wonderful. All right. And is mine. MSI GS 75 still 17.3 inch. So it's like, uh, oh yeah, 2070. I have a 2070. I have a 2070 Max Q. And I can play all games on Ultra. Fuck. I can play Hogwarts Legacy on Ultra. I can play Modern Warfare 2 on Ultra. I'm excited these two I can are. play. Uh, I can play all the games that have been coming out recently. You can hear the I can excitement play all in his on voice. Ultra, and it's like a Ultra. fucking massive game. It's a fucking And you know what? If you can't, oh no, change the fucking graphics card. I fucking love that. But you can't do that on a, a laptop. What are you talking about? You can't buy a new graphics card for a laptop. Change it. Unless it's like specifically the laptop's made for that. If I see screws on my fucking laptop container, you can fucking take out the card. And fucking They're on board. Why can't? Why? Why? Why wouldn't you be able to? It's onboard graphics. You have to micro solder. Usually, like something I'm not understanding, and that's frustrating to me. And I'll get really bad. It's it's because you can't like you can't just take it off. It's the you can't just play, it's not plug and play. Uh, you have to mic. You have to. It's it, 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 usually the graphics cards and laptops are uh, soldered to the board, micro soldered to the board. So you can't just take it apart and replace it like the CPU on laptops are usually. But a lot of laptops make it so you can upgrade the CPU now. So you can upgrade the CPU and the RAM and the storage usually. So uh, and then, but the graphics card is in the motherboard and there to stay. What if you punch it a lot? I'm not fucking about to punch this goddamn laptop this way you said. What if you punch it a lot? What if you pour hot sauce in it? Yeah. Uh, what if I fucking pour this fucking shit right in the goddamn... But my point was, my mine is an NVIDIA, NVIDIA RTX. That's disappointing. 2070 Max Q. Mine's less good than yours. The Max Q design is not good. It's like it's like the ones that came off the rack that like less good. What's up, Eddie? What's up, Eddie? Uh, and then uh, they just Eddie. Who's fucking Eddie? They, they oh, do, Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Shut up, Eddie. <laughs> they just didn't test it well. Serious. I thought I was gonna be able to. Do good. Change my graphics card and put that on clip. Now Eddie shows up. Fucking Eddie. It's all his fault. Go on. 
Um, I think I know what house I'm going to. Head over there. Head but before. what what kind of a processor do you have? I seven. Ryzen seven. Ryzen seven. Okay, then uh, you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna be able to play like all games on higher ultra. I'm telling you, just trying to start downloading some games. As long as you have a good mouse. Yeah, I, I've done that. Uh, I've done Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout whatever. Because once you start PC gaming, man, you'll never go back. Like, it, it's so well, easy to play on a, with a keyboard and mouse. I love Fallout fucking mob, dude. I'm fucking here to appreciate the fire on this. But, now, hold on. I've been fucking playing on this fucking thing with those with smooth graphics with those stats for two years. Well, yeah, now that's pushing it. Now we're hitting the, the threshold here into the, for the third oh, year. You know things. Yeah, are but they're not getting that much better. The the laptops kind of coming out right now are not that much better than the ones two years ago. They're not much better. Not the really? not the graphics card and stuff because they don't need to be. Well, the games aren't getting any they, better. They fucking should be. If they're not, then they're going to tell me that they are and demand. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And slow everything down. But man. No, no. It's because the games aren't getting any better, so you don't need them. Right? Like, they literally still sell my laptop for $2,000 on uh, Amazon. And it's a laptop from 2019. Same probably year as yours. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's the, that's the year. 2020. Yeah. So... So like, and it was a it was a top of the line back then, and now it's still mid top of the line because of the games. They haven't accelerated the games that much. Like it's like they don't need much more graphics space. The thirty two, the sixteen to thirty two gigs of RAM that you have, and yeah. the graphics card that you have right now, sixteen Herb. gigs of fucking graphics RAM. What's right? up, eight, eight, eight gig, right? All right, I'm gonna no, pause no, these no. guys because I don't want to miss any. It is almost over. They've got another uh, 17 minutes. Oh, I need my phone.
those cans of water. Um, they're in my trunk through the register. So the bagger put those items with order B. All right, so I had to call Instacart support. When I got to this delivery, there was something from customer A back there. I separated them. Um, so I went through the checkout line and I was talking with the cashier, right? Neither one of us were paying attention. But my supermarket has some staff who do bagging who are special needs. I wasn't paying attention to her. So she put something from customer A in the basket part of the shopping cart, which was customer B. Customer A only had a handful of things. So as I was putting the bags on the customer's porch, I was like, oh shit, this is for customer A. I could no longer message them in the app, so I contacted Instacart and said, what happened? And said, please let customer A know I'm on my way with their stuff. Not a big deal because customer A lives right around the corner from the supermarket, which is where I'm going anyway. But clusterfuck nonetheless. Let me see how much. This person tipped $50 flat. 
customer A was $9.94, but I don't want my $9.94 to be gone. Plus, they paid for this shit, so let me go get their shit to them. Yeah, 16 gig processor into the 64 gig. Uh, graphics. I'm listening. Yeah, but the graphics. Why I'm uh, listening to the graphics. Um, oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And Billy the graphics card only night. has uh, eight gigs. That's right. But eight gigs is fucking plenty. For for the until they make games that are way crazy looking. And you you have to play on a 4K monitor for it to like really. That's what yeah. That's that's the main thing, right? Is what is your display? Is it 1080p or 4K? My display is 4K. 4K. That's your problem. Swap. Drop down to 1080p, and you're yeah, good, yeah, bro. I agree. Like you'll be able to play anything. I and okay, yeah, <laughs> we can't even see it with our eyes anyway. Yeah. I mean, we see. No, actually, that's not true. We see 32 and everything, but not at certain speeds. We see 32 uh, when we're standing still looking at something still. But once it's moving, you can't see in fucking 4K. Not even close to yeah. There's an weird. I think it would just be like overkill on a small screen, like two. You know, like, yeah. it's just like why bother and then why why would you it's literally like causing your graphics card to work like 10 times harder to try to produce yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, on yeah. high um, dude, that settings shit so hot. if you know where your graphics card is in your laptop if you're using a laptop you can feel that shit fucking I, I fucking I pay attention to it too I'll like turn the hands on and shit put it on ice packs I'll blow on it <laughs> bro I just saw a freaking on uh, when I googled my laptop, I just saw someone talking about a laptop with your shit in it, right? That yeah. crazy intense, great laptop on YouTube, like a three thousand. Uh, you know, so like I'm telling you, man, it's a little better than you think it is, probably. I mean, I do know that I can cast from it, like. From the from this processor speed with this motherboard and these graphics, I can cast one monitors and then have an HDMI going to another monitor, and then the laptop will still be running, and I can do different programs on all those different monitors, casting and HDMI without anything slowing down. Uh, but at the same time, there's a lot of games that I can't play. Impossible. Yeah. And yeah, it's just it's, this fucking Asus I, aluminum fucking computer is so. One other thing I like about this, uh, I don't know. The oh, you have a rog? Huh? You have a rog? What is a Asus rock? Republic of Gamers laptop? Asus Republic. I don't know, gamers. but it's a uh, aluminum. It looks like a fucking MacBook, but it's not. It's an Asus with, with the Ryzen and the Radeon. And uh, you can pour water on it. I like that very much. Oh, and it's... Uh, Why, Billy? Did you pour water on your Surface laptop? Pro at the same time. Nice. Which I really love about it. So I can <laughs> fold it in half. Like... Mm-hmm. Jam the fucking screen backwards, and then slam the uh, keyboard on the table, and all of a sudden it's a fucking tablet. Yeah, if, if if your computer was meant for gaming, it's probably called a rog. Yeah, it doesn't show up this. It's meant for gaming. It it doesn't show up this icon when you boot it up. No. There, there's icons not anywhere on it other than the Asus icon. No. My shit is like straight windows. Okay, well that that's probably because someone put it like that. Uh, 
but what about like the initial screen which was the logo does it show aces or does it show rob it shows a black background with aces yeah. okay yeah because they've been having the republican gamer see see this is what all like their gaming stuff usually has on it somewhere that's weird. It shows up the Asus, and then it goes blue and says Surface Pro, and then oh, it's literally I... called the Surface Pro. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's why. So, what's cool? I thought you were just using that as a comparison. All right, I'm almost back. No. So like I okay, can, I can get a second one of these and then put them next to each other and they become bigger screen and link up to each other. But I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> 7235, it took me an yeah, hour and 34 minutes. They would do that. Sweet. Yeah. It's like 40 bucks an hour. Which is useless, technically. Yeah. <laughs> If, if, if it's your buddies, yeah, like, and you're not going to be able to use it. Yeah, the only reason <laughs> I use it at all is for art. So, like, if, uh, if I go into the art studio, I can unplug it, fold the shit backwards, and then use it as a, uh, just basically a reference, like you would do with any laptop at that point. The only difference is, is that I can um, tap on a few different programs and then use it as a, 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 a tab. That's the only fucking benefit to the Surface Pro, man. Uh, it turns from laptop to tablet. So it's got a built-in keyboard. Big fucking look. Tablets already have a fucking built-in keyboard. They're just on the screen. It's the only fucking difference. And uh, I would not recommend it to the artist. I would recommend them to get different tools for different projects, not try, yeah. to, not try to center one fucking machine to do all your projects because it's gonna beat it up. Oh wait, is yours this creator one? Yeah. Well, it's the it directly links with uh, Sketchpad, so it's built to be used with Sketchpad. And then also be used as a laptop or whatever the fucking game laptop, whatever you need to do, because it's got the Radeon and Ryzen set. But it's yeah, really it's like a, the good graphics. I wonder if the touch screen causes the graphics to be worse, too. You know? <laughs> well, <laughs> when I am working on projects, with my finger it definitely lags yeah yeah it's not that's what made me think of that it's it's a way better gaming laptop and laptop in general for like this purpose like communication and everything for speed for live streams and like live stream gaming it does that very well because as you can tell like when i ask you hey are you hearing yourself you're like no it like cancels all that shit out automatically so you can talk to people while you're fucking gaming it does all that stuff very well but when it comes to the actual graphics of the real art on sketchpad it lags it doesn't do a great job and it makes me stop turn you back on start talking to you bullshitting with you while i draw on a piece of fucking paper So, what's the fan? But it does other things really well. Like, like this. I do not <clears throat> recommend any Surface Pro unless you have multiple and you're going for that weird fucking screen joining thing for some reason. In which case, I recommend just getting an LED fucking coffee table. Yep. Nice changed. Do you remember the first Surface Pro that came out? 
They were so dumb. Dude, it was advertised as a coffee table. It was like, here's your first computer coffee table that you can drag and drop. It was like, drag and drop what, bro? <laughs> For what, bro? <laughs> What are you doing? Is this like for like a restaurant? Cool. Damn, that would be expensive. Five thousand dollars a goddamn table. You'd have to charge from hundred dollars a meal. <laughs> and that's what they didn't do. No one ever fucking had a service pro restaurant. What's going on here? FedEx guy. I can't believe I can't find your laptop. Usually, I, can find oh, I, I have it. I have it right Laptop. No, I, I, was, I was just seeing if I could fucking find it just by the, the specs. You were telling me a little you information. Want, you told you want, me. You want a visual standard? Oh, I'll look at this for you. Or a visual control. Sure. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to go try another method. All right, I'm on customer A Street 3403. Wow, this is a thing is super cool. Wait a second. This isn't yours, right? There it is. Yours isn't this cool, right? Man, they still haven't brought their shit in the house. No, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. This has the right specs. And it, this looks super cool. cool. <laughs> all, the, all the controls over the right like that look rad. I'm going to smoke real quick. All right, I'm going to go do the same soon. I'm surprised you're still in the car, man. Yeah, I know. It's just such a hassle getting all the fucking shit. What fucking shit? Up. Just all the shit in my car that I gotta move to the fucking house when I move going soon. You gotta get your dashing shit out of the car every time you're done. Well, I mean, like tablet that's mounted, you know, like in the backpack that I bring in my car that carries all my shit in it. Oh, so it doesn't get stolen? Is that all? Yeah, I mean, like. Man, they wouldn't have even known. Their shit is still on the front porch. All right, I'm giving up. I haven't even looked at your picture yet. No, you're good, man. I'm fucking yawning myself. Dude. Yeah. Your laptop is like super janky looking. Janky looking. <laughs> like, it does not look like what I, it does all the way you said. That's cool. I would have thought it was like a lot of the, uh, a simple I could yoga. Almost, if I wore fucking Jinkos, I could slip that fucker in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely doesn't look like it has Ryzen 7 fucking radio on it, but it does. That's what I love about it. And it's waterproof. So fucking. And it folds backwards. Yeah, that's my, I, uh, I like I like the ones that fold backwards. Love it. I used to buy the Yoga Three all the time. Like I've had like two or three Yoga Threes. That's like the little Lenovo version of that, but it's like super small. It's like a eleven inch or ten inch laptop, and it's like the perfect portable laptop for just like doing bullshit on. And bringing it with you and like posting up at Starbucks and just fucking being on it and then 
taking it to somewhere else to the hotel you know and then like it, it would fold back like you were saying it was one of the first ones that folded back that's why it's called the yoga I fucking love that man remember our older laptops dude I've, I've got them all all my old laptops they get thicker and thicker and thicker as the old chili kid some of them are like an inch thick from like the 2000s and 1990s. Welcome from Missouri. All right, let's Missouri. see if the Russian Dasher is over here. Uh, I just remember Missouri is named by, oh, it looks like a misery to live there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn on my camera while I get up to the house. Yeah, you going? As soon as you leave, I'm into this stream. Yeah, man, I'm out. All right. Later. Thanks for hanging out with me, bro. Later, guys. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Yep. I'll uh, keep you posted on RDR2. I Y K Y K. <laughs> all right. So, uh, for all the audience members out there, fuck Missouri. <laughs> all right. Let's turn DoorDash back on. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks, Kelly, for joining our channel. Um, That is not the dashing felon's opinion on Missouri. <laughs> just kidding. I love Billy. He just said the most outrageous thing he can. He does. You can't really blame him. <laughs> All right, so that one is over. U.S. policy could change if Israel doesn't take concrete steps to protect civilians and aid workers. Biden's warning.
Here it is right here. You know, remove yourself from your, your all out support for Israel. And then from the right, especially um, the Republicans are threatening to blast him because they'll they'll accuse him of weakness. I think the most important thing here is to set clear red lines. So if Biden can say, here are the lines, do not cross them. That gives That's them not what I'm trying to listen to. That's outraged by the attack that killed World Central Kitchen. Eh? Obviously, we know there was an earthquake. Our teams are on the ground, so we don't need that anymore. Thank you very much, New Yorkers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good job, thanks. All right. So we were hearing from New York City Mayor Eric Adams and other officials as they were providing an update on their response to the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that has rocked the tri-state area. That, of course, being New York, New Jersey, what and up? the Philadelphia area. In fact, this is the fourth earthquake this week to impact the New York City area. Right now, uh, as we were hearing from officials, there are no reports of any injuries or major damage. Ones. But again, as a precaution, uh, they are inspecting tunnels and bridges in the tri-state area. And we also heard earlier Earlier from New York Governor Kathy Hochul as she was reiterating that this was unexpected, but again, in an abundance of caution, they are now inspecting all of those bridges and tunnels in New York. We are going to step away for a two minute break here on Live Now from Fox. After the break, we continue our breaking news coverage of the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that has shaken the tri state area. We we'll be chills. back in two minutes. What's going on, Goose Goose? Low as hell today. <laughs> now you got one. You got two. You're Mav, Maverick.
Roosters Goose. Welcome back to Live Here you go. Hawks. I'm Stephanie Quinn. You Goose right is now, now a, is 1235 is a uh, what do you call it, moderator. And moderator. We continue to follow breaking news after a 4.8 magnitude earthquake has shaken the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey, and the Philadelphia area. And I do want to bring up this map right here just to give you a better idea as to exactly where this all unfolded. The epicenter is just about five kilometers northeast of Lebanon, uh, Lebanon, New Jersey. That is near Tewksbury, New Jersey. And that is where that little indicator stating 4.8 earthquake is located. This all happened at around 10.23 a.m. That is when the earthquake struck. And immediately people were sharing reports of intense shaking for a number of seconds. The good news is is that according to governors from New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania, there are no reports of any injuries or any major damage. But he as is a troublemaker. Here on live now from Fox, we did hear from New York Governor Kathy Hochul as well as New York City Mayor Eric Adams as they are saying that out of an abundance of caution, they are now inspecting the tunnels and bridges in the New York area. We also want to let you know that the White House has sent out a statement saying, quote, the president has been briefed on the earthquake, which had an epicenter in You're New Jersey, welcome, and Goose. he is in touch with his team who are monitoring potential impacts. The White House is in touch with federal, state, and local officials as we learn more. They also said that the president has spoken with New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy about this morning's earthquake. He is currently in Baltimore, Maryland, as he is surveying uh, the damage following the key bridge collapse. But again, in Baltimore, he has been briefed of this situation and he and the administration are continuing to follow all of those developments. Also, a New Jersey governor You're stating welcome, that right now they have activated their state of emergency operations center, asking people not to call 911 unless there is an actual emergency. And when we were on air here on Live Now from Fox, we were airing the U.N. Security Council meeting happening in New York. We it at the time, but we were live on air as the earthquake shook the new U.N. Security Council meeting. And I do want to play some of that video for you right now because it actually interrupted some of those proceedings. So I'm going to share that with you right now. had one toilet for 600 people. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Time to go uh -huh. grab some lunch. And again, you can see that some of these cameras are shaking. The person at the podium asking if she could continue. There was confusion as, again, the 4.8 earthquake interrupted the U.N. Security Council meeting in New York City. Madam President, am I okay to continue? Education is in many ways life-saving. No sanitation to speak of. A community I visited had one toilet for 600 people. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Go ahead. And again, you can listen in as the speaker was asking whether she should continue speaking. But again, I did want to share this with you as we were bringing it to you live here on Live Now from Fox. No one was aware at the time, but all of that camera shaking uh, and the tremors that you see right there, that was caused by the 4.8 magnitude earthquake interrupting the U.N. Security Council meeting. And speaking of New York go City, our see Fox your tax lady? continues oh, in a very yeah. in-depth, extensive work coverage on of this ongoing breaking news. We are going to transition to their special coverage right now.
it didn't last for more than a minute. We know actually it was much, um, much shorter than that. But in those seconds, right, there's all kinds of thoughts. Like I surely thought uh, while I was in the newsroom uh, with some of my colleagues, as Antoine uh, described, okay, what's happening? And then the immediate thought was, is there uh, an earthquake or was this an earthquake? Obviously, as we've been talking about throughout uh, the morning and now into the afternoon, unusual for New York City. And, you know, news travels. I've heard from friends in Miami uh, texting me, hey, are you okay? And also from viewers reaching out through social is, media, is watching spot. our coverage, appreciating our coverage. And, of course, we will continue uh, to cover this as this unfolds. Now, I hope it we wasn't too bad. This, uh, across New York City. Here's some sound uh, hearing from someone in lower Manhattan. Take a listen. It's just like... I actually got a settlement. There was a lawsuit at um, one of the restaurants I used to work at. So I got two checks. Thank God, because um, they had taxes taken out of it. So that'll help. And I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. The thing about something like this or a major weather event, something that happens in an instant, it makes you think of how quickly things can change. And I think that's exactly why we're hearing the relief across New York City. Back to you inside. Yeah, Stephanie, you hit that nail on the head. Yeah. That guy was talking about it feeling like a train. Absolutely. It felt like a really big right? train. I mean, it wasn't a lot. It was a couple hundred. It for kind of a long time, about 20 seconds. And that's when you realize but if I, you know, line, no subway line underneath. No, let's just say if I didn't have that and I owed a couple hundred, that takes care of it. Also, so. One of the guys pointed out, I've heard of earthquakes happening before, but I never felt one. And just to point out to some facts, the largest earthquake was in 1783. That here. I have a lot of write-offs. I, I got StreamYard. I got my trip to Denver. No, absolutely. We, we, we All my merch that I've bought. Like 10 years or so, but nothing, you know, 4.7, 4.8 magnitude like we saw today. It's also interesting that this was centered in Lebanon, New Jersey, but people felt this as far away as Allentown, Pennsylvania. You've seen people in Connecticut. The governor said in Albany she could feel it. So... This wow. definitely had a little bit of a reach here. Absolutely. But, you know, what's interesting, though, is because because of that reach, there are some scientific facts that back that up. And because our rocks are different here, we have older. This is according to seismologists. Okay. Like, oh, I always want to ask the reason why, because you're, there's a difference between earthquakes on the East Coast rather than the earthquakes on the West Coast. Uh, okay. There's a difference in rocks. Yeah, I wasn't aware and, of that. And it travels further and wider than what we normally experience in, uh, right. on the West Coast. But Michelle Ross, actually in Lebanon, New Jersey, uh, talking to people there, as you can see the
Yeah, it does, Mav. And it seems like over here, I saw you talking to your neighbors outside. It's a, it's a tight-knit community. Did you, find, did you find relief in knowing that everybody else felt the same thing and it wasn't anything very major? I, initially, I felt relief because I knew it wasn't my house, you know, and I hadn't lost something, you know, with regards to my house. And then after that, seeing everybody Thank you, honey. You know, come out confused everybody asking the same questions you know pulling together you know everybody was standing around saying okay you know they're okay they're okay i gotta check on this person i gotta check on this person some of some of the more elderly people people stop by this and that's what this thank you does. It pulls together with people thank you so much Steve, for time. You appreciate it. glad you're okay you thank, you. thank you thank you and just what up worldwide what up very quick eight to ten seconds at most and the best way that i can explain it was damn people talking to People Look at that. Saying that it was quick, but it was 21 miles for $15 stack delivery. Okay, it's strong winds, but they're out of their minds. Out of their minds. Like Dave was, you may have thought, okay, construction or you know, weather or something going on outside, but long enough to know this is happening just a few seconds too long to understand. Can't really brush this off. So, everyone here back in the community, others walking their dog. Pretty much getting back to normal. So I'm going to get lunch day, and wait on another really Instacart. Really inside of his house. It was just the initial shock and the shaking that really scared everyone here. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, really thankful that everyone seems to be okay at yeah. this point. Um, I want to talk about now. You were actually communicating with someone on Twitter this morning after you saw a video of this guitar player. He was playing, he was practicing in a living room, it looked yeah. like, in Bridgewater, New Jersey, not too far away from Lebanon. You reached out and said, can we use this video? But that's the first thing you do, right? Is when something like this happens, like, I'm at Twitter, that so, so yeah. far yeah. on Instacart and today. the video that we're about to show you, really, you can understand. Hi, honey, well. how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Inside of the building, so Thank you. Thank you. you, you too. I'm still in the bubble. Yeah. So an earthquake over here, so I'm listening to the news. Man, I live here and I didn't even hear about it. Mr. D had to tell me. This lasted for about 20 seconds, and that gave a lot of us a lot of time to look at each other with concern in our eyes, and it got your heart rate going, for sure. Interesting. We do have another video, too, as well, from, you know, the U.N., which is not too far from our studio, and what they experienced there. We'll take a look at that as well. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Education is. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> education is. You, you're making the ground shake. <laughs> education is in many ways. But at present, I'm okay to continue. Education is in many ways life. Wow. I mean, it's funny that they're joking about it in the moment. You're making the ground shake with your speech. But you, you notice early on in the video, you see a couple, a couple head, heads just kind of go off. And that's kind of how it started here, too. Yeah. What, what is, what is, are you feeling that, too? Mr. Stacey, they didn't miss a beat. No. They did not miss a beat. They no, continue with the long speech. Uh, you know who's also not missing a beat now, but I know there were some issues before, was with getting around the city in terms of public transportation. There were some issues there. Inez has been covering this all morning long. And Inez, you were out of breath running up here just to make sure that people knew what was happening in terms of the roadways. That's right, because well, I went home. I went home. I thought my day was <laughs> yeah. done. And then, hey, can you come Welcome back? Welcome back. Exactly. I'm running down the street catching the bus yeah. and seeing what's going on. But so here's what we have going on right now with New Jersey Transit. They're the ones the most affected with this 20-minute delay system-wide. They're just doing some inspection, no reported damages, but they're just making sure things are safe. Same goes with the Newark light rail. That is completely suspended while they're doing those inspections. Riverline did have in suspension over by Trenton. They just resumed service, but we have delays with that. And Amtrak, they're just checking place 
so there are speeder stations in place through the northeast corridor also for track inspections which is pretty much what everyone did as Antoine mentioned MTA bridges subways they were also doing inspections no major disruptions with those airline the Villar as well as Metro North they've been fine Holland Tunnel they actually temporarily closed that for a bit both directions at a time just to inspect things Lincoln Tunnel had a temporary hold around that and so far reports are saying everything's okay they reopened the roadway and you know what it's back to business we have a Yankee game going on soon so the GWB has been dealing with delays an hour delay inbound because of that everyone's just doing their business you can see those delays that's the delay heading towards the major dig and so you know what we're New Yorkers but things continue on and on the weekend's coming Yankee game's coming uh, Bianca and Chris so that's what we do. We go back to business. That's true. Oh, by the way, the airports do have Newark. Newark is the only one with delays. JFK and LaGuardia are fine, so that you need to plan. And also, if you're taking mass transit to Newark, we have shuttle buses instead. Yeah, speaking about mass transit, just getting around the city, I know uh, bridges and tunnels in terms of that, there was no impacts to facilities, um, but they will have a final report at 4 p.m. because it does take some time to assess. Well, yeah, they, they got to check and make sure you want to make sure there's no issues after something like this. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so we are listening in to our Fox 5 team out of New York as they continue to give us the very latest from their area as a 4.8 earthquake has shaken the tri-state area, that being New York, New Jersey, and the Philadelphia area. And in fact, uh, in just the last few minutes, we do want to let you know that Mayor Sherelle Parker out of Philadelphia and other officials from Philly, they are expected to provide an update on their their city's response that at 1 15 Eastern time and of course as soon as that pops up we will bring that to you live because again we have not yet heard uh, from the mayor of Philadelphia we did bring you New York City Mayor Eric Adams as well as New York Governor Kathy Hochul delivering their updates on how uh, they responded and their agencies responded we are going to step away for a two-minute break here on live now from Fox but we continue to cover all angles and all developments in this breaking news story as a 4.8 magnitude earthquake has shaken the tri-state area. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Live Now from Fox, and we continue to follow the breaking news after a 4.8 magnitude earthquake has shaken the tri-state area. You're taking a look at a map of where this all unfolded, and you can see in red the 4.8 earthquake. That is the area of New Jersey 
where the epicenter is located. That's about five kilometers northeast of Lebanon, New Jersey. That is near Tewksbury, New Jersey, if you are familiar with the area. All of this happening at around 10.23 a.m. Eastern time. The earthquake striking that tri-state area of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York. And in fact, speaking of New York, this is the fourth earthquake this week to impact the New York City area. Now, the good news in all of this, and we have been hearing from various officials and mayors uh, that no reports of any injuries or major damage uh, have been passed along. But again, what they are doing right now is that officials are currently inspecting all of the tunnels and bridges in the tri-state area to make sure that the integrity of the tunnels and bridges have not been compromised because of the earthquake. Because again, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake is a relatively strong earthquake right here. We also want to let you know that around 1.15 Eastern time, so in just a little over 15 minutes, we are expecting to hear from uh, Philadelphia city officials, including uh, Mayor Parker. She is going to be joined by city emergency and public safety officials to provide an update on the earthquake that was also felt in the Philadelphia region earlier today. But I also want to let you know the other big story of the day, of course, I is feel it. President Biden. He is currently in Baltimore, Maryland right now to survey uh, the, the key bridge collapse, of course, that all unfolding last week. So he was in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, while the earthquake struck the tri-state area. And the White House issuing a statement saying, quote, the president has been briefed on the earthquake, which had an epicenter in New Jersey. He is in touch with his team who are monitoring potential impacts. The White House is in touch with federal, state and local officials as we learn more. And President Biden is scheduled to speak about the key bridge collapse and the ongoing recovery efforts at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and he might also, if you can expect, that he will be addressing the earthquake as well uh, during that moment. We continue to hear from uh, governors. In fact, uh, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy tweeting earlier that uh, New Jersey has activated their state emergency operations center, asking anyone not to call 911 unless there was an actual emergency. And again, we are expecting to hear from Philadelphia city officials. So what we want to do is our Fox 29 affiliate has extended special coverage of this breaking news. And so we are going to uh, share that with you here on our screen now live. Five miles down below the Earth's surface, the original big earthquake that we felt around the region here, that was only three miles below the ground. The closer it is where that crack of the rock shifts and causes the shaking, the closer it is to the surface, the more shaking that happens, the more people can feel it. When it's deeper in the ground, it's a little bit harder to feel. And also too, it's just such a low magnitude, but it did trigger an aftershock that's been reported by the USGS after that big earthquake that we had around 10.30 this morning. Both of those two were in Hunterdon County in New Jersey. And guys, appreciate you sticking with us all day right here in the Weather Center. We'll send it back to you at the desk. Drew, once again, excellent job. I know you're going to continue the coverage on Fox Local in just a moment. Drew's also a professor, as you can tell, so we've been learning a lot this morning. Once again, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. Yeah, you can always download the app. It's the Fox Local app, and you can stream that right there on your smart TV or on your phone or any of your devices as well, because we'll continue. We'll keep that coverage, and of course, we'll have um, be back on television if our mayor, Sherelle Parker, has a news conference. We'll go back on television in addition to also streaming on our Fox Local, and then uh, obviously one would imagine if Governor Phil Murphy did, and he had some um, speaking out about what happened, but we were just there at the heart of where it happened with all, Jim Lake. We're monitoring all the government agencies' transportation as well, as soon as we get new developments, you know what we're going to do. We're going to break into coverage or programming here on Fox 29. But once again, can't stress it enough. Keep watching us, Fox Local. Download the app and what a morning it has been a 4.8 at about 10.23. And then about an hour and a half later, we had that aftershock. Be safe out there. Once again, thanks for joining us this morning. Have a safe day. Fox Local continues right now.
All right, so as you can see, our Philadelphia affiliate has stepped away for a short break. But again, we continue to follow the breaking news as a 4.8 magnitude earthquake uh, shakes the tri-state area. And again, once again, we did want to bring in this map for you uh, just to give you a better perspective in terms of where exactly this happened. Uh, this all unfolded at around 10.23 a.m. Eastern time. And so people mostly were in schools. And in fact, we've been hearing from folks who say that uh, there were people uh, in class at the time and of course the teachers wanting to make sure that their students were safe. Something else of note that of course officials are very closely continuing to monitor is the possibility of aftershocks because again following an earthquake there will likely be a series of aftershocks and it really is unpredictable as to exactly when those aftershocks were to occur. And so we have been hearing from officials, including New York Governor Kathy Polkel, who is saying that they are very closely monitoring for the possibility of aftershocks and asking anyone uh, if you're inside, if you're worried about the of your family, it's safer to do that. And again, we continue to monitor this. Also, if you're just joining it at this hour at 1.01 p.m. Eastern Time, 10.01 a.m. Pacific Time, in just about 15 minutes, we are expecting to hear from Philadelphia city officials as they are going to be providing an update from Philadelphia on how their city emergency and public safety officials uh, responded to that region. And again, we had dipped into our Philadelphia affiliate uh, Fox 29 as they stepped away from their coverage. However, Fox 5 from New York, they're continuing their coverage out of that area. Again, as we were hearing, of course, from New York City Mayor Eric Adams and New York Governor Kathy Hochul. So we do want to pivot and head back to the New York City coverage for a moment and listen in. Five, just before 10 30 this morning again as new yorkers and tristar staters were starting the very beginnings of their mornings now the u.s geological survey says it originated near lebanon new jersey about 45 to 50 miles from new york city city officials say so far there are no major reports of structural impact right now this does include school buildings from what chancellor bank said during the news conference at the office of emergency management in brooklyn now the city's building department says its construction enforcement unit is out doing inspections similar to what is done in preparation for major storm events. Governor Hochul says that state engineers are checking vulnerable infrastructures like dams and transmission lines just to make sure that they are safe. There are no fine line cracks or anything that they are in fact intact. The governor did say that there was a report of a gas leak in Rockland County, but it does not appear to be anything major, unquote. The MTA says that service to these seven bridges operated by the agency are okay. They do go on to say the service was running during the earthquake and has been running since. So far, no major issues to report there, but they are monitoring and will continue to triple monitor conditions. Now, at one point, there were ground stops in place at both North Liberty International as well as JFK, never LaGuardia, never in that configuration for LGA. But at these other two airports, Newark and JFK, they have since been lifted. However, there may, may be delays, particularly in Newark. So you want to definitely check in with your airline, your carrier, before you head out to the airport. Officials are asking anyone with questions to call 311. Should you have any questions about anything, please do not call 911 because those lines, of course, need to remain open for emergency calls. So that is the very latest from where we are right now. We do know at one point around 11 o'clock, about two hours ago, Amtrak had initiated inspection protocols as well as speed restrictions to allow track inspectors to go out to make sure that the rails in that particular regard are okay. And Inez, of course, has been monitoring New Jersey Transit and, of course, the MTA. We've been back each other up in that regard but this is the very latest from where we are in the newsroom right now we'll send things back upstairs to the fifth floor studio and you all right Antoine thank you very much we'll check in with you in a few minutes so what else do we have to check in uh with who's on vacation someone who's actually on vacation, on vacation. does he have a habit of doing this he does, Working but, he, on vacation. but this is why it shows what a dedicated fox by That's right. really he is dan is Collins, right. who is joining us from verona new jersey uh also not too far from the epicenter where you're talking about what did you experience because you're there with all your kids on 
on vacation, just trying to enjoy your, and have a good time, relaxing time. That wasn't the case this morning. It, it was, the, the sun has finally come back out. We we're going to try to go to the park. We we're yep. going to try to do something fun. And then all of a sudden, the whole house started shaking. So, yeah, it was about uh, 1030. Yeah, as you guys know, you've heard from so many different people just the shock of when it happens because it's not something that you obviously expect to happen. We're about 30, 35 miles to the east of Lebanon, so the epicenter. And we were sitting here just waiting. It takes a lot for the kids to put the iPad down, but this was one moment where just for a few seconds, things started shaking. Things seemed to be just a little bit out of control. I wasn't sure if there was a truck that was parked outside the house that was doing some deliveries in the neighborhood. Maybe it had backed up and hit the house. That's what it felt like. And so I stepped outside and my neighbor across the street was on a Zoom call. And he said, just as plain as day, I think we just had an earthquake. And sure enough, we did. It was a little complicated to explain to the kids because they're asking me, I don't think earthquakes are supposed to happen out here, Daddy. I thought this was only in California where we have some family. And I said, guys, every once in a while, it can happen. If you've are been in the area for a while, a lot of people remember back in 2011 when they had that other strong quake that you felt in the city. So it was something where you had to tell the kids, like, look, this happens. It can happen. Everything's going to be okay. We sort of walked the perimeter of the house to make sure we didn't have any damage. And like most people, there wasn't anything significant. But it was scary at that moment and a day when, after we've waited the whole week for the sun to come back out, we had a good reason to go outside. Chris and, and Bianca, I know that you've talked to so many people, and that's that's really what it is. You don't you don't expect something like this to happen, and what it, what it does, you just kind of have to deal with it and, and and figure out what you're going to do for the rest of your day. Yeah, and, I, and I, Dan, I'm curious, did the kids were? It was a scary moment for 20 seconds. Did yeah. they handle it okay? They had smiles on their face, or was this a really kind of a terrifying thing for little kids? Uh, the the Three of my four kids were here, um, and so the the older boy, Mateo, he was very curious. He was the one who just wasn't sure that this was supposed to be happening. And so when it goes on for longer than five seconds, he looks up. That's when he puts the iPad down, and he comes straight over. Uh, Tomas is a little quieter, and so I think probably later on tonight is when they're going to have those conversations where they're going to say, is it going to happen again? I'm a little scared. I'm a little worried. And so that's the conversation I, I already know that I'm going to be uh, having to have in, in a couple hours from now. But in the moment, um, as, as we're just kind of all sitting there trying to figure out what happened, we were all pretty shocked. Yeah, it's a learning experience. It's science, right? <laughs> it's science. <laughs> it's science. And, it works. and dance kids are smart. Yeah. So the fact that they're like, isn't this not supposed to be happening <laughs> exactly. over here? They know. Yeah. They know this is like a West Coast thing. But unfortunately, you know, these things definitely can happen here. Not as frequent as the West yeah, Coast. But that's right. Dan, regardless of that, enjoy your vacation. Enjoy the sun. <laughs> okay. Enjoy the time with the kids. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try to get some baseball practices in. Hopefully, no aftershocks. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dan, thank you very much. Good luck, guys. Thank Speak, you. Speaking of ba baseball, yeah. guess who's actually at opening Should day? Should we head out to uh, Yankee Stadium to uh, talk maybe a little baseball, maybe a little <laughs> earthquake at the same time? Jen Williams is out there for us. Jen, did you feel this? Are you talking to people there who did this, did this affect their game day plans at all? actually was in the Yankees press conference room in the, the bowels of Yankee Stadium. That's the very first floor when it happened. And I thought it was maybe something very heavy, like one of those huge garbage containers being rolled in the hallway. There's a little bit of construction and, and things going on underneath Yankee Stadium right now. So I honestly, I felt it, but I didn't really pay a whole lot of mind to it. And Yankees fans are excited for opening day. One guy told me there was an earthquake out here and there's going to be an earthquake in there when Juan Soto hits his first home run as a Yankee and for the most part fans told me some didn't know I broke the news to them I was talking to fans around 11 o'clock right when doors opened um, and a lot of fans were just like some you know kind of felt it as they were driving um, or felt it on the subway they weren't uh, for those on the subway they weren't sure what they were feeling because they were on the subway but um all in all, everyone, honestly, Yankees fans I spoke to saw it as a good omen. They're like, only on opening the Yankees home opener would something like this happen. And they took it as a good omen. And I love that guy 
was like, you know, there's going to be another one in here in just a little bit. You, you, you're probably right. We hope he's right, right, Jen? That was uh, the reason for it, you know? Yeah. I hope I have my accent down there. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, Jen, thank you very much. Well, it seemed like they were pretty cool, calm, and collected yeah. there at Yankee Stadium, especially the fans heading to the game. We were hoping for a win. However, in New Jersey, at a cafe, we got some pretty incredible Yeah, Kachar was telling us we got some new video in. Let's take a look at this. Do we know exactly where this is, guys? This is in Boynton, New Jersey. Boynton, New Jersey. As you can see, people coming in here. This is 10.30 in the morning. You're getting your coffee, your breakfast ready to go. And as you can see, maybe some of those people walking out because they felt a little bit unsafe. Um, but, you know, most people kind of trying to still go ahead and go on with their business. Yeah, I think you can see one of the employees behind the counter kind of crouches down is sort of holding onto the counter, unsure what's going on. A wild moment. I mean, we really haven't experienced. This is a, a unifying moment, right? If anything can bring us all together. <laughs> I, I, I agree. Yeah. Especially if, uh, you know, if you haven't experienced this before, you yeah. kind of don't know what to do. But yeah. again, from some of these West Coast people, yeah. you know what to do. Yeah. You well, head underneath a structure or a doorway. But talking about some people that may not have been used to this, Michelle Ross, who uh, is currently out. Michelle, we're just trying to make sure we know where she's at right now. Um, I think she's in Lebanon, right, Michelle? She's in the where the epicenter of this earthquake happened, this 4.8 earthquake. Michelle, what are you hearing from folks out there? Right, we are still in Lebanon, and now that we know everything is safe, no structural damage, no injuries, this is now more of an exciting event for residents. They're really coming together and kind of getting like off of adrenaline off of this event. I'm here with Kristen. She lives here in Lebanon. These are her three children and a friend of one of the kids. Tell me the, uh, what's going on with you guys. You know, you said this morning that it was kind of exciting for you and all your children. Yeah, it was really exciting. We were just in the foyer getting ready for a play date, and everything started shaking. Our house is very old. It's started creaking um i thought maybe this guy had blown something up <laughs> and then Who we realized the fuck the whole thing was shaking, is so exciting. it was fun afterwards we were just uh very happy that it stopped and just uh and all of our were for a while. and you were saying that though, you this is quite neighborhood okay. nothing really happens here but now everybody knows about lebanon new jersey exactly that's the most fun part is seeing it on the national news it's, it's neat yeah and you that's mentioned it's on now. the town facebook right yes as soon as the earthquake stopped the town facebook was just blowing up and everybody was commenting on oh my gosh what was that i have to and take this like, order because i'm not getting any instacart yeah we just got dropped go and the second started shaking i yelled upstairs for pete but nothing happened so my mom and i both run into each other and then i grab onto her <laughs> yeah and then we fall to the ground <laughs> yeah Awesome. And, and your mom said that maybe you had blown something up in the house. What were you doing at the time? So I was like just playing with my friend and then and then suddenly the house started shaking. I started shaking and I nearly fell down. <laughs> and what about you? Um, I was just playing with my Legos in the foyer when the shaking started happening. I ran over to my mom and asked her what was happening. I still had no idea what was happening and neither did anybody else. So I just stopped playing my Legos for a little while because I wouldn't break in the whole thing because my hands were shaking and my legs were shaking. <laughs> yeah, so playing Legos, I'm sure you didn't fall over or anything like that as you were playing no. it. Okay, interesting. Great, great. So now that you know that everything is safe, you guys are out here having a good time. What's the rest of the day looking like for you and your family now that you know it was an earthquake and didn't really do much that, that much damage? We'll probably go spot some other neighbors and see what everybody else is experiencing. Event. Yeah, great. Thank you guys so much for your time. Appreciate it. Glad everyone is safe. And as you, as you heard it from them, you know, it was just you know, a matter of seconds. They were in their house. It was shaking. Everything back to normal. We are going to be on, uh, checking on the fire department. We hear that they're doing spot checks. So we're going to see, look, look uh, further into that in the neighborhood of Lebanon and see how people are dealing with the aftermath. Back to you guys. All right, so again, we continue to follow special coverage from our Fox 5 affiliate out of New York as New York. New Jersey and the Philadelphia area all felt this morning's 4.8 magnitude earthquake shaking the ground. I do want to share this live look with you because this is a live look of a podium right there out of Philadelphia as we are expecting Philadelphia officials 
to give an update any moment now. And again, we are going to bring that to you as soon as we see anyone take to the podium. We are going to take this opportunity, though, to step away for a two minute break. But again, we will continue to cover this breaking news as a 4.8 magnitude earthquake has shaken the tri-state area. We'll be right back.
time to go. Man, they're still on a commercial break. They said the Philadelphia mayor was supposed to be on at 115. Alright, let's go. One mile, a little less than a mile. Hey, buddy. and we continue to follow breaking news after a 4.8 magnitude earthquake shakes the tri-state area. Fuck, I just missed a morning. $40 shot. a live look as we are expecting Philadelphia oh, city well. officials and the mayor to provide an update in how they responded to this emergency situation. And I had my finger on it too. I was too busy. Uh, we'll bring that to you live. But again, if you're just joining us here too busy at analyzing 1, it. p.m. Eastern at 10, 16 a.m. Pacific, we did want to share the very latest of this breaking news. Again, a 4.8 earthquake detected just northeast of Lebanon, New Jersey, which is near Tewksbury, New Jersey. And this is a map of that area. All of this happening at 10.23 a.m. Eastern time this morning. Again, affecting mostly the tri-state area of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York. All those states, including Connecticut and Massachusetts, also indicating that they felt tremors there as well. As of now, there have been no reports of any injuries or major damage, but as an abundance of caution, uh, inspectors are taking a look at tunnels and bridges in the tri-state area to ensure that all of these tunnels and bridges of officials uh, throughout the morning, but we did want to let you know that President Joe Biden, who is making his way to Baltimore, Maryland, to assess the key bridge collapse and the recovery efforts there, he has been briefed on the earthquake. Uh, the White House is sending out a release saying, quote, the president is in touch with his team who are monitoring potential impacts. The White House is in touch with federal, state, and local officials as we learn more. And again, we are expecting to hear from President Biden at 2.30 p.m. Eastern. Initially, he was set to talk about the key bridge collapse and the ongoing recovery efforts there, but no doubt he will also touch upon the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that has shaken the tri-state area. We continue to follow this breaking news for you right here on Live Now from Fox. And again, we are expecting a number of press conferences coming out of Philadelphia as well as Connecticut. As soon as those happen, of course, we will share them with you live, raw, and unedited here on Live Now from Fox. We are going to step away, though, for a two-minute break.
and we continue to get more reaction from the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that's centered in New Jersey. The East Coast is responding right now, and we continue to bring in uh, people that are experiencing it and then want to share their reactions, and that's a great thing for Live Now from Fox. We can bring uh, these people on and uh, have those experiences. So we have some special guests here. I'm live now from Fox, the Chesson family from New Jersey. Good morning, good afternoon. I'm saying good morning. So what a surprise you guys had today. Uh, just first off, tell me all about it. What were you experiencing? Do you want to tell them what you saw or what happened to you? Um, so I was covering and um, I was also recording while I was covering and then I just felt the shake and then I just ran out um, for to um, my Look at that. And we have the video here. So let's let's play out the video for the viewers. They're going to see your reaction. It is priceless and really kind of showcases what I think a lot of people on the East Coast were thinking at the same exact time. So let's play that out right now on live now. Train people. <laughs> That. Let's play it again one more time for our viewers here. We'll take a look. Read it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would get me out of the room too. Uh, <laughs> ex explain this to me when you just started going uh, running out of the room. Um. So I was scared. Uh, yeah, I was scared. And did the house shake a lot? Yeah. It felt like a really big boom. Yeah. <laughs> we all ran to each other, right? We all got really scared and didn't know what was happening and ran to each other. Yeah. And then when it was over, we walked back into the kitchen and saw she got the whole thing on video. Look at that. Yeah, that, now that video is going to circulate over and over again. And uh, explain to us a little, when you guys huddled together, how long did this exp uh, experience last? It's, we're still getting little booms now, right? Yeah. But it, like maybe 30 seconds was when it was first happening, 30, 45 seconds, and we all huddled and didn't really know what to do. And then it stopped. And then what did you guys start doing? So going on social media, going to seeing what's going on and people reacting? Yeah, right? Texting our friends, calling our coworkers, seeing what happened, reaching out to family, calling mom and dad. Well, you know what you guys need to do now? You need to get shirts that say that we, we survived the, the, the shake. We survived the 24 shake. Yeah, you want a shirt that says that? Yeah. That's what you guys got to rock soon and then just play out the video over and over again. It's going to be priceless there, no doubt about it, with the uh, family memories. So what what's on deck now for the rest of the day here? I mean, what could top that? More shakes, more shakes. Oh, there's one right now. Little, just have a little one. You guys got another one? Yeah, yeah, little booms. Yeah, that's why that's why they need to say that you got shirts that says that because you guys are rocking and rolling with it, uh, it just alive on the air as well. Yeah. All right, for our viewers, one more time, let's play out the video and uh, we'll showcase it one more time here. You need it. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that is classic right there. I'm glad everyone is safe there. That is the number one priority there, no doubt. But uh, uh, Chas and family, thanks so much for joining us on Live Now from Fox out of New Jersey, where uh, this morning and afternoon went haywire. Thanks for having us. Yeah, stay safe, guys. We appreciate it. And our uh, really big thanks to the Chasson family right there. All right, here is what we have coming up next for everyone on Live Now from Fox. We do have uh, the Philadelphia mayor going to be giving some remarks as well, uh, talking all about uh, the earthquake. Also, representatives out in Connecticut will be doing the same 
as well. So we are just getting started for everyone on live now from Fox. It is going to be a busy afternoon and evening, but we are going to continue to tell the stories and uh, tell the stories of people that experience it on the East Coast. They'll be joining in. We'll be taking phone calls throughout the afternoon. So stay right here with us. More to come on live. I do want to take another two-minute break out of the way while we wait uh, for these major news conferences to happen. What do they do? We're bringing it to you. All right, so this is paying six dollars because they had me take a photo of the menu. Out the commercial breaks. That's what we are doing here uh, today. The Friday edition. It is earthquake shaking around right here on live now from Fox.
that that is just some of the sights and sounds that, that has been captured on video as that earthquake was rumbling on the east coast and throughout the day on live now and from fox we will be taking uh, your phone calls your experience We'll have it all for everyone right here on Live Now from Fox Everyone. So we have a lot on deck. We're going to take a lot of the breaking news conferences as they come in. And look at this. As I say, we have one that is rolling in right now. Let's go out to Connecticut, where we do have state officials there talking about the earthquake. We also will have the Philadelphia mayor coming up in moments as well. So stay right here with us. But first, let's go out to Connecticut. Assistance. Any city or town that needs assistance, then they, they do that through uh, their rules up to the EOC if they need something. We have had none of those requests at this time. We've been in touch with the utilities who are surveying 41. their lines to make sure that they're all intact. Yep. Um, they have not reported anything back to us yet with that regard. Um, Millstone is following its normal procedures after an earthquake. They're operating at 100% power and they see no life safety issues at this time. Um, the State Department of Administrative Services is surveying state buildings. Um, we have again we've had no report of significant damage but we are monitoring and making sure that that's the case the dot has no reported concerns from their field but nonetheless in an abundance of caution they are doing visual inspections of bridges and um, critical infrastructure critical bridge infrastructure just to make sure and they're not hearing anything from the field at this time amtrak and metro north is running they do have some uh, slowdowns in certain areas as they check the tracks, but again, um, service is continuing. It may just be a little slow in some areas because, as we know, this uh, happened in New Jersey, so it's affected New Jersey, New York, and parts of Connecticut. Um, and then finally, Bradley International Airport was in a bit of a pause for a little while, while um, uh, airport staff and Connecticut State Police did an inspection to make sure that the facility was okay, um, and they are back and running. So with that, um, we can take any questions, uh, but that's, that's our report. We're monitoring. Two. Oh, George is on. My check, my check. My check, my check. What's up, Red? How's everything going? Microphone check, microphone check, one, two, one, two. I hear you, I hear you, brother. I hear you. How you hear me? Hey, it's Red on the way. I hear you, my brother. Let's go, man. Get those more lines off. Come on. What are you waiting for? It's going to turn out to be a pretty good one today, brother. Yeah? Why? Let's What's see. the topic? Let's see what the audience thinks. Which this week must be the last, and that humanitarian aid. So as soon as he's ready, we're going to turn it over to you, Hope. Yeah, um, I'm going to need you to do a little um, introduction of the uh, restaurant because I never had it in my area. And in South Carolina to now, so you have it. 
And so we have a new restaurant. Um, some of the other content creators have this restaurant in our area. It's called Whataburger. We just did a ground a ground opening to a uh, ceremony today. And um D Rev is gonna just get give y'all a little insight on it because like I said, I didn't have it. Some other people might be viewing might not have this um restaurant. And then we'll get into the show more. Go ahead, D-Ray. Oh, yeah. Um, hear your little backstory of Whataburger. You know, they've been in business for a while. I remember when they had it in Memphis about 30 to 40 years ago. And then they closed all the uh, franchises here. They brought a lot of them back this year and last year. Whataburger is on point. You know, this is a medium sized drink right here. You look at it and say, man, that looks like a large cup. But that's a medium sized drink there. And the Dr. Pepper shake is off the chain. Off the chain. Those who haven't tried it out, they have burgers, they have uh, the chicken sandwiches and everything like that there. But yeah, you know, my opinion, this is one of the places I love to eat at. This is I'm at the one here in South Haven. South Haven got two. Memphis got four or five or maybe more. You know, I know down there towards um, oh, yeah, 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 the Chess Gallery area, there's two day. of them. And they just built them. And they built one on Winchester, which they just did. And they partnered up with DoorDash. That's the reason why some people I said, why, why are you guys doing this content in the gig community? Because first of all, DoorDash is a uh, partner with them. So a lot of delivery drivers will be going there picking up deliveries, dropping off deliveries and all of that. So in my opinion, the burgers do taste pretty good. And um the triple staffer is it's it's a nice size with I didn't devour mine so you won't be able to see the actual true size of it. But um in the hopes area they had eight I'm gonna let him tell the story on the reason why we're doing it today. You already see the thumbnails, so you got a general idea of what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn it back over to you, George. All right, thank you. Uh, once again, yeah, um, this is a new restaurant that's coming. We're also going to have them in um, Greenville, Greenville um, South Carolina, as well as Irma, South Carolina. They're going to be saying that in there um, as we're doing the presentation here. You're going to be watching that. I videotaped this. Sure, I'm going to come in. And stuff. Uh, I, just have to be mind, I just have to be mindful because you know the safety, um, because it's ground open and stuff. And the thing right. is, rough. They have risk management there and all that stuff to make sure people are safe. We also had the actual local news, two news stations that was there: WLTX um, nineteen as well as WIS TV um, ten. So, um, further ado, I'm gonna um, set up. And um, and I hope you enjoyed the show here for this little breaking on ceremony. As you guys can see, you got you, you got you got it in the wrong direction. Which way I got it? It's looking vertical on, on, on our end. You want to turn it back the way you had it? Okay, it's looking horizontal on my end. Okay, how's there that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just I'll just hold it like this. Okay, um, as you can see, that's the food truck right there. Um, that's going to be the little thing here. So. Let me see here. If I can do it. Come on. All right, here, yeah, this one. Okay. So I flip it the other way, it'll probably be back. 
No, you good where it, where it is right now for the viewers. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, Georgie. It is so slow. George, did you feel the earthquake? It's uh, it's outside noise too. It's how I recorded it. It's outside noise. I had to get a filter. It's a, it's a learning experience, brother. I'm sorry. All right, no problem. We hear you loud. Let's roll. Let me see what Mr. Flex is up to. Oh, empty car. What are you saying? <clears throat> you didn't feel a thing, not like the 6.8 they had in Virginia years ago. You felt that. You felt one from Virginia to uh, to Jersey? Man, that's all that's on YouTube. You hit the live button and it's all news. Me and some Diddy shit. I haven't listened to any of that Diddy shit. It's a terrible Instacart right there. Terrible, terrible. We're not doing that nonsense. Triple shop 15 miles for $24.81.
Damn, somebody took that order? Fuck. You got one for eleven thirty three six mile four drops. Ooh, are you gonna do that, Spark? Curbside for eleven dollars thirty three cents. You got a promo? You must have a promo. Oh, Rody. I'm just missed a $39 Instacart. Fucking shit was on my screen and my finger was tapping the accept button. I, I missed it by like one second. Too much time trying to analyze it real quick. But somebody just took a garbage order out of here. That or Instacart pulled it and they're breaking it up with something. What up, Kellyanne? We got another slow day here. I don't know where anybody on the team is. I didn't bother any of them. There was a $40.93 nine stop, but I didn't get the bid on that one. Oh, shit. Let me look at Rody. No, did you feel it? I spent like about an hour listening to the news about it, though. Jersey didn't feel it. He's in the shore. Oh, did it? Oh, shit. That must have scared the crap out of you. say it lasted for what like 20 seconds that we need to see there'll be changes in our own policy at the white house spokesperson john kirby declined to elaborate on what the U.S. would make to its policy toward Israel and Gaza, but said the U.S. expected to see Israel on steps it's taking to protect civilians and aid workers in the coming years. Yeah, yeah, 
Go take this one. Are you? What time are you going out? Don't dash in the dark, girl. Uh, don't dash in the dark. Although it's better than uh, if I were you, I'd go out too. It's been raining the last couple days. Alright, I'm going to Okini to get some sushi rolls. Total of 3.3 miles for $7.50. Girl, let me tell you what. It's been a... I've been on the struggle bus all week. I looked this morning at what I'd earned so far this week. It was only like five hundred dollars. That is like terrible. Yeah, it is Friday, so I'll probably work dinner. But look how long I've been out. My live is five hours and ten minutes. I had a sweet Instacart, though. Made 500 today. Sweet. Girl, I'm afraid of trading. You just sitting there, buddy? You don't have any fucking turn signals on. I left the house early this morning. Oh, hybrids at that wrestling thing, isn't he? I was going to say, like, so that's why I wasn't sitting there in, in a live chat for him. Plus, I didn't see one, and now I just remembered he went to. Uh, I'm going to call it WrestleMania. I just hit 80%. Man, that was a struggle. I want to get over 90. Sweet. Well, feel free to click our link and hang out with us. Do you have a second device? I mean, you can stream and work a device at the same time, but it's just easier when you have two. What's up, Eddie? Where's your boy Nick Star? I ain't seen his ass all day. You have your iPad? Sweet. Yeah, come hang out with us. Burb.
Are they gaming right now, these two motherfuckers? Is that what they're doing? Oh, because you can tell on um, Discord sometimes if they're playing. I don't mean those two specifically. I mean people. Like it'll say, you know, playing Call of Duty or whatever. Eddie, I was listening to them. I was listening to them. I heard them talking to you when you came in. They said, it's all Eddie's fault. Whatever it was, I can't remember. They had me cracking up. I never was a gamer, Eddie. My boyfriend's a gamer. I'm not a gamer. Like, if he could be a professional gamer and get paid to just sit on his ass and fucking play video games, he'd be like, yay, ring. That's like all he does. It is kind of dank. I mean, it's not like a bright, sunny, beautiful day, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. I mean, I don't know what it looks like in your area, but. does though kind of have the feel like the sky just could open up at any minute and piss on us but hopefully not saying there, Eddie? Kind of glasses. What are you talking about? I can't really read while I'm driving, so I'm almost at my drop.
No, I wasn't born for dark weather either. I'm a sun, sands, and beach kind of girl. Matter of fact, what I got to find are some bifocal um, reading sunglasses. Because I've got sick and tired of putting my readers on and off to read my fucking tablet. But I miss wearing my sunglasses. And with summer coming, the sun's going to be out a whole lot more. And I'm going to need them. I don't know if they have such a thing. I'm sure they do. I'll find it on Timu. Your hubby has bifocal reading sunglasses. Oh, solar eclipse glasses. Got ya. When is that fucking thing coming? We'll be dashing out and that shit. People will be having parties. I remember it was like, uh, what year? 2017, I think there was a solar eclipse. It was freaky as fuck. Monday? What time? What time for our East Coast does? Eighty percent. I just got to eighty percent. Let's see if I can beat a uh, eighty-five by the time I go home. <laughs> I think it's so cute how you call us Red Star and Nick Star. What are you gonna call Billy Billy Star? You know that Nick and Billy are going to do a show together starting Monday night. Those who are a fucking riot together are riot. They're both psychotic. It's great. listening to the live stream and Billy is like I love Red. Red is great. She's a really nice lady. She's so dumb though. I mean she's smart but when it comes to the internet she's just so dumb. <laughs> and I was like yep. <laughs> He's like, and I'm not talking behind her back. I've told her this to her face. <laughs> and he has. 
And Nick's like, I know. You should have heard me yesterday trying to teach her how to buy Bitcoin from her Cash App account. Oh, well, I learned something new, but I don't need Bitcoin for anything. That's some bullshit. Kellyanne, I just needed to buy it to um, transfer it into that overseas gambling site. <laughs> Because most of those places you can only withdraw in the same mode that you deposit in. So, had I used my credit or debit card, there was no withdrawal method for that. So, I would have had to wait for a check where Felon was saying, you can withdraw in Bitcoin instantly. And it would be in my cash app account then I could convert it to dollars and transfer to my own bank account that's the only reason otherwise I got no damn interest in Bitcoin so in your professional trading opinion, then, do you believe that people who buy, like, the Solana and stuff are making a uh, financial poor decision? You know, Kellyanne has a YouTube channel, so maybe she could host a live stream one night and we could all go hang out in her live and ask her questions. Are, is your, um, is your uh, trading channel, is it monetized? She says that was excruciating. Did you see me throw my fucking hands up in the air? <laughs> I threw my Android phone. <laughs> I went in the house so fucking annoyed and frustrated. Uh, I got in the house, I put my shit down, and I was like, I'm going to fill up my mop bucket. And I just started mopping the floors. Then a half hour later, I went to the computer, and I said, I'll figure this shit out. And I did. Billy is um, oh, Bonsai, Bonsai House. I was just scrolling back in the chat because I know that I missed some shit. Let me post right back up here. I want another fucking Instacart banger. I want an Instacart banger. Two twenty-seven on Monday. Two thirty to three thirty, basically. Oh, yeah, that's what we'll call it on Monday, dashing in the eclipse. Dashing in the eclipse. Mm. 
You don't trust rich people. Okay. You're on a $50 offer for half a mile? Wow. Good job, Worldwide. You want to go to war with me? You will kill me, man. What kind of Uber Eats order? What do you got? A catering order? Yeah, it is a hell of an offer. Let me make sure my fucking Uber Eats is on. It is. A catering cupcake drop. You are a cupcake. Oh. Post it in the Discord, my man. Post it in the Discord. Let's see. Curious how it hit your phone. Did you get a screenshot of how it hit your phone? Man, I'm tired. There he is. Holy fuck. Sweet. Yeah, he did. He put it in there. It says right on the bottom, too, large order. Hmm. Wow, and they tell you the estimated tip. Sweet. That is awesome. Good job, kiddo. <laughs> Eddie, you are doing just fine. Let me show it to you, though. He put it in the general chat. Here it is, Eddie. Do you see it? says large order on the bottom. Tells them how many items. Look at that shit. I'm going to Chipotle for $6.25 plus one and a half miles. Georgie, our Discord is just fine. George, you better join my Discord or next time I see you, I'm going to smack that ass. Take your vape away and hide it. Uninstall all your gig apps. Oh, Kelly wants to get in the Discord. Kelly, it's very, very easy. There is a link on my channel page. 
There's also a link. I don't know if you have the Gig Wars app, uh, which is free, by the way. But within the app is a link to the Discord. But we share a bunch of screenshots. There's also, um, what do you call it? Uh, DoorDash incident reporting. Cody has set that up. So if there's an outage or something going on with um, DoorDash, we know immediately. Like we don't have to wait for, oh my God, there's what the hell's going on. We get an immediate notification. People talk about all kinds of stuff in there, all different kinds of apps. So it's not just DoorDash, Instacart, Curry, Uber, all different catering apps. It's, uh, we do a little bit of everything. All right, hopefully I'll be right back going to pick up for Rue. All right, let's go, kids. We got one mile. Oh, I lost the scoreboard. I lost the scoreboard. Maybe Cody lost his power. too loud the music is it too loud 
Hold on, I gotta change it because I don't like that music. There we go. All right, hon. All right, let me go deliver this. Six seventy five for a mile. I won't complain about that at two thirty in the afternoon. Hell no. Nah.
Man, I have worked so little this week that when I filled up my tank Monday on my way home, I still, I got more than half a tank. I've only driven 214 miles since Monday. Wow. That's how bad of a week it's been, and I've just been going home. So I guess, I mean, now that I've been working today, I'm over 600 for the week. So I guess that's really not bad. Although Kelly made $500 in a day. Here comes somebody. What up, what up, what up? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Leave this to my city. Congratulations on that order. That was fire. Thank you. So you know what I'm doing? Is This is going to LinkedIn. What? This is going to a LinkedIn corporate office. Those cupcakes? Yeah. Cool. So... That's, that's cool. Yeah, I just I just picked it up. I'm like, damn. Thirty six mm -hmm. items? Is that like thirty six boxes of cupcakes? No, it's 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 thirty six cupcakes. So it was just in two hand carry bags. Four boxes in oh, okay. two yeah, two boxes each bag. So it was just thirty six individual cupcake count. Yeah. Got yeah, okay, that's not too Before bad. I wish I could have caught that in some damn footage. Yeah. Well, you can make a short with your screenshot. Yeah, I definitely could. I could. And take a picture of the package before you drop it off. Uh, where's Phil in that? He ain't, he ain't woke up. Uh, I don't know. I didn't bother him. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't send him a message. He'll come when he gets up and ready to work. Although it is a Friday. But, uh, you know, he, doesn't, Square North Park and Garage. he doesn't have top dasher this month, so maybe he, maybe his zone is gray. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Lincoln Square Park and Garage. Bring your ticket so I can validate you. Take elevators to floor one, then walk to the Microsoft elevator. What? This is complicated as fuck. What? So you guys are in the mall? I guess. Okay. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and say hi. I gotta go in here and drop this off. I wanted to just say what's up. All right, I'll, Carol, I'll, be I'll be here. All right, for sure.
Yes, ma'am. So, um, by midnight last day of the month, you need to have, yeah, 70% AR as well as a hundred dashes completed and a completion rate of 95% or better. Just, uh, Felon was out of work for a, actually a lot during the month of March, not feeling well. So he did not have his delivery count in. And, and he's a multi-apper, right? So he did a lot of, I mean, he made decent money, but he made them off, off the catering apps. Come on, I need like a hundred dollar Instacart. Normally on Fridays around five o'clock, there's um, usually between 60 and $70 Instacart at the drop. That lady seems to order groceries every Friday night. The only thing I don't like about it is that she's a, <clears throat> it's a like 12 mile commute. I'm up to 81 AR. <laughs> else. Yeah, it's um, sprinkling. Good job. You're almost all grown up. <laughs> Starting to sprinkle. Now I got a 775 plus grocery delivery. Once I get it, it'll be about a mile and a half. If I recall correctly, she's a half decent tipper. Eh, I don't know. It might turn out to be like $10. But if it's a house I'm thinking of, the drop off is super easy. Like I can back up almost right to her front door. Let me go to the left. One, two, three lights to go through that way. 
this while I only have one. You know, it never fails. The days that I do happen to get up early and I'm ready to go out early, I don't end up doing any better than when I come out at like 10 o'clock, 10.30. Please have this shit ready and be up here waiting. Damn, 62 items, 83 units for 30 bucks. Let's look at these items. I might wait for a better order.
Let's go. <clears throat> Let's see if they, anybody took that order. Damn, no, they didn't. It's a lot of units for $30. I could go through the self-checkout. I gotta look at the items again and see how fast I can shop it. I don't know, right now I don't have anything else on the screen to choose from, but that's a lot of shit for for thirty dollars, twenty nine oh five. A lot of shit. But it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, would you guys buy 62 items, 83 units, drive 3.3 miles for $29.05? If it were old, well, if it, I was going to say if it were old, it'd be a little different because that store is so small. Um, but Aldi, even if I were to go through the register, I still got a bag at myself. Where, if the cashier has a bagger, I mean, I can get out pretty, I can get through checkout pretty fast. Somebody took it. Thank God. Yeah, and I said I can back right up to her door, and yet today they, well, I can still get up there.
Fifteen twenty six. That's what I'm talking about. You got a six dollar incentive on a spark return. Sweet Jersey. Jersey, you know, you've been getting a lot of cash tips. What are you doing? I think you're over there shaking your money maker. I think you're flirting with the girls, George. I think you're flirting with the girls, my man. That was an easy 1526. See, why would I want to fucking buy 62 items, 83 units, go through the cashier, then drive fucking 3.3 miles and unload for $29 when I could have just did that for $15.26? I mean, Jesus Christ. Twenty items, yeah. Shit, I'll even let you have a case of water. But I, you know, I really hate this road. All right, Doordash, you little prick. Let's go.
cranny cougar. Yeah, you bat your little eye. Oh, and you're talking in that deep voice of yours. That deep, raspy voice. He's like, hello, ma'am. I'm Georgie. Your delivery boy. Watch me as I flex my muscles when I bring you your cases of water. <clears throat> oh my god, that hurt my throat to do that. You get the point. Boy, NGB's gone for a while delivering those damn cupcakes. NGB. I accepted an unassigned two today. All right, I got a plus $13 surge on my next Uber. Plus 13. For all you Uber Eats drivers out there, if you have ride share, turn on Uber Pet. 
because then it will filter over to your deliveries. I'll go do this fucking order. <clears throat> go buy three items at CVS for five twenty-five. Only because of what time of day. It, oh man, I need a scan ID. But you know, they should really say that to you on the offer screen. doing that Instacart order. No way. Yeah, Hi, honey. How are you? Yeah. Oh. Uh huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay. He said, you got extra large. What are you, tired? Yes. shit balls these instacarts are complete trash 61 items 75 units 6 miles for $14.47 that is just bad I mean bad Looks like I'm going to be driving right into the $15 surge. Oh, yeah, and it goes away. But my surge is sticky. Man, I'm a big ass surge on here. Now, right where I am right now is where the 15 was. And of course, the 15 went away. You're back. I'm still here. I'm going to do a stupid um, CBS. $5.25. I'll buy three items and then I drop it right over there. Most of the mileage was to the store. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, bro. I don't really have much else to do. At least I don't have to wait at a restaurant for like 10 minutes. I just run in and get the shit. The sucky thing is, is uh, requires ID. Oh, there's my baby. Um.
Uh oh. Did she? She bled you dry. Well, you better get your ass in another war and go make some money. Burb. Kellyanne just joined the server. Kellyanne just joined the server.
All right. <clears throat> Please have your identification ready for your medication. Thank you. So she knows I'm on my way. She has responded. She will have her ID ready. Fuck. Why do I think so long? $54 shop. Gone. I can always unassign it. I, you know why I think so long? Because I don't want to unassign it. I want my... I want my cancellation... Whoa, buddy! I want my cancellation rate down to zero. I'm at Yeah, Eddie, Mav is recuperating. Goose is a fucking psycho. I mean, you should see what Goose did. It's not funny at all. It's not funny at all. He fucking hogtied him and ran him over. lady I am here First time ever the DoorDash app has scanned the ID for me. I always end up having to do manual entry. Oh, so you want me to take his wrench away? In fact, that would be funny if Goose didn't have a wrench. Maybe I should take Goose's. No, nah, because then people might time him out. What do you think? You let me know. I got a uh, fucking worldwide who says he wants my head on a platter. He's coming for me. In a good way.
Yeah. But he's a Gigan fan, right? Like, you, do you see why I'm torn a little bit? I got a fan. You know who's my biggest fan? Swiftly. Swiftly. Swiftly loves her some red. Well, Uber did send me a couple offers with that um, surge on it, but I, I declined them all. Eighty-one percent, ninety-six percent completion rate. I unassigned two today. Oh well, they'll be gone in a week. Eddie, you got to watch the video. Uh, you know what? I might clip some of that. Oh, I'm going to clip that part and play it. Can I do that? Is absolutely. She is featured in my Discord live stream. It's funny when she drops some f bombs. They probably think it's me. What are you talking about? What did I miss? Let me go into. I saw that you joined the Discord. Here to fuck shit up. Sweet. Kellyanne is here to fuck shit up. only copyright Eddie if he gives if he gives me a strike I get copyright matches all the time in mine and every time I go look like usually once a week I get it and every time I go look it's just it's felon like streaming on his channel In order for it to be a copyright thing, the owner of it has to go through, you know, a process. They have to submit, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking definitely screen recording that shit.
Okay, Eddie. I get it. Oh, okay. Oh, and then they hear me cussing. I get it. So you're sitting there talking with your trading friends and then you hear me go, motherfucker, son of a bitch. Fuck out of here, Instacart. door trash don't let me sit around too long I'll get tired where is Billy and Nick oh here comes door trash Six dollars plus for 1.6 miles. We'll take that shit. Five items. Two beverages. Arrived at the store. Let's drive to the store. Uh, I'm picking up for Bart, as in Bart Simpson, except this is Bart H. Hello, my name is Bart. My name is Bart, and I like to fart. I got those rap lyrics from Hot Fox. better not sing his song I'll get a copyright I would get a copyright for that I'm parking in the uh, Papa John's minimize my steps minimize my steps Oh, estimated pickup 338. These people are never early. Let's flip it to the Instacart screen.
<clears throat> oh, they're adding 450. <clears throat> Just got to stop into um, Chipotle and pick it up. It's going to the same neighborhood. Same neighborhood. I don't like that it's 450, but same neighborhood. And I got notification from Chipotle that the add on is ready. Alrighty, what's Kelly saying? I gotta get my video edited. Have a great weekend, and maybe I will see you tomorrow. Make that money, Red. Thank you, honey. You take care. Enjoy your dash tonight. Wishing you a lot of money, and as always, drive safe. No Uber. I'm not doing that order. gonna dip into Chipotle. Grab the order for Vicky. Vicky, 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 Vicky. garbage order Ugh. all day it's a single shop 5.6 miles 53 items 113 units for $17 and 20 cents and that has a bump they have a $5 tip on it what the holy mother of God is wrong with people I swear to God I hope they starve all weekend Or get off their lazy ass and go shopping their damn selves. How about that? And then when you're done spending all that time in the gas and lugging it all yourself, you can be like, you know what? This really was worth a $35 tip for 113 units. See how many cases of water they have. Oh, none. 
burp. All right, first we are delivering to a man named Bart. You know what? If I had to work at a place like this, I would be fucking miserable. Straight up miserable. I just had that thought because I see this girl here come to work. She's so miserable. this way. I wonder why. Did the people at LinkedIn kill NGB? Last time we saw him, he was like, I'm about to go into LinkedIn to deliver this $50 Uber order. And he's never been seen or heard from again.
Seven, two. There it is. Bart, here comes your way back. Here comes your way back. Yeah, this add-on I never would have taken. Well, it was an add-on. There we go. This guy didn't know how to back straight out of his fucking spot. No, 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 no,
know, I can't believe somebody took that fucking Instacart order. I wonder if it's that shopper I saw yesterday who told me that he had taken a batched Aldi all the way to like Kenneth Square Air. I'm like, yeah, I saw that order, dude. Why would you take that? He's like, I don't have a choice. He doesn't do any other apps. He's like, this is the way I make my money. That's the only thing that's in the system. Uh, I got to do it. I'm like, God damn. Samsung Galaxy 24 on T-Mobile. No, thanks. Ass order. Yeah, I'm passing you a three dollar fifty cent. I don't even remember where it was from. Did, oh, it was from Italian Village. Yeah, they've been stuck on me all over the place. What have I done since I saw you? Oh, I delivered those groceries. I paid fifteen. Then I did a CVS for five twenty five shopping that I know you don't like. Then I did a way back going over to Barley Sheep with a Chipotle add-on. What What have you been doing? Sitting here. You've been sitting there? Yeah, taking care of Keep, Keeping the parking spaces warm? Yep, yep, that's what it is. I'm watching over the uh, immigrants. <laughs> You're supervising the landscapers? Yes, yes. There the we go. Company. Just making sure everything is going up the park. Yeah. Sure nobody is jumping the wall or anything. Right. How are they doing? Are they doing a good job? They're some of the best uh, workers. You know, us Americans, they, that's what I used to do for like 10 years. Right, I right. Loved it. For a while, my passion and heart was in it, but it just, after a while, it, it's a lot of hard work. Did it remind you of the prison chain gang? Huh? Does it remind you no, of the no, no, prison chain all. gang? All right, I'm up to 82. What was I at this morning? Do you remember? Something like that. I think I was at 80. And what are you at? A solid... 70. I was 70 before my previous dash ended, and then I just started a new one at 30. No, what's your AR? Oh, I went down. I kept getting bullshit. I didn't feel like going airplane mode. I'll go back up. Watch, don't worry, you'll see me. I'll be back in my... 30s. I think I dropped the 31 from 34. I wasn't trying to pause for two, three, four dollars constantly. They kept hitting me with that. Because I know if I come back and whatever, they're still going to try that to filter that bullshit for me. Are you on now? Yeah, I'm on till 10 now. All right, I'm passing you a 675 for 5.7 miles. It's my turn to keep the parking spot warm and clean and supervise the landscapers. See, one thing about them, these motherfuckers work no matter the weather. You hear me? Yeah. What other race you know be doing that? Probably not going to get it at four o'clock. But I'm not worried about. It. I know I'll hit my my goal today.
Oh my god. <clears throat> What's up, George? George, I was trying to listen to your guys' live stream, but it was very hard for me to hear. So you got a Whataburger, huh? Outside of Whataburger, what else did you guys talk about? Okay. I was playing it while I was live. I had you coming through my speakers. George, you ready for me to kick your ass again? Oh, no, that's right. You beat me. Sorry. What do you got? I got a bullshit ass order, but I gotta take it. Oh, how bullshit is it? it. Nah, it's, it's, not, it's not the best. It's like six point six and a, uh, six and two quarters for five miles. Six dollars fifty cents for five miles. Okay. I gotta break the ice. Yeah, I just declined one. Okay, see you later. Okay. Always. Oh, you hosted the show. There goes the Russian dash, or y'all say bye. Oh, he's going to Applebee's. All right, I will accept that one.
All right. I got a McDonald's order, 825, going like 3.8. Not the most fabulous, but considering... Considering the time of day, and I did just decline one. At least this is a diamond order. So, how do you feel about it? cops oh that's the cop that was at uh the restaurant that night i unassigned the order and ran because i was double parked and he was looking at my car i was like i'm getting the fuck out of here Rev hasn't come and hung out on panel with me in a while. Last time he did, I remember I had that catering order that went something bizarre happened with it. And then I got the same order hours later. So I got half pay on it the first time and full pay on it the second time. Same fucking catering order. Burp.
All right. Somebody took that order. There was a $61 Instacart, but it was two stores and 18 miles. I was investigating it, but uh, all right, honey, no problem. Oh, shit. Uh, six, nine, eight. But I don't want to go. I don't want to go 18 miles. And do no, 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 not even for sixty dollars. Two different stores. That's a lot. We thought those people at LinkedIn kidnapped you. Like the last time we saw him, he, he was delivering those cupcakes. Thought maybe they said, oh, look at this young, sweet little thing. We're going to, with the cupcakes, we're going to kidnap him. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, you have. What are you at now, kiddo? You're doing better than me, kiddo. I'm at right about 150, and, and, and I was out for like the better part of an hour, if not an hour before I accepted something. It was so slow.
I got you, George. Thank you. Hi, George. Hey, what's up, my sexy wag? What's going on? How you doing? Doing good. How's everybody doing? Everybody's good. Everybody's good. I'm having kind of a slow day over here. How about you? Well, I finished my work earlier today, and then I was on that live stream that with D Rev. Uh huh. Uh, because they didn't even they didn't even say the time of the event. They just said the date. They wouldn't say the time or nothing. They said oh. it there the last minute. But I was already there, so I was like, I was waiting because I I saw when they started. Uh, you know, putting stuff up, you know, starting to set up and everything. So I just was right across the street at the McDonald's watching the whole thing. And then I went over there and I took the videos and stuff. Cool. So was that the topic of the live stream today? It was about the Whataburger? Yeah, that was a thick of it. And then we did a little bit of, um, you know, uh, question and Q, Q and A question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Your your audio is bad, man. I don't know if it's is it? me or you. Want me to come back out? Hold on, mic check, mic check. Is there? No, you sound mic good. Check. You sound good. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was where I was at. Okay, my check. Okay. I heard D Rev has a new, uh, new music. I heard it. Take it to the streets. Take it to the streets. Yeah, he's doing his little that thing here. Take it to the streets. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Take, take it to the oh, streets. Yeah. Yeah. I think you said something about it. I couldn't really hear you because d Rab was on the phone calling me at the same time I was trying to hear your live stream just now. You were saying something about you were trying to listen to it, but you were saying something about the audio? Oh, for that one, yeah. It was hard for me to hear um, when you started um, playing the video of the Whataburger, I couldn't hear it, uh -huh. but it could have just been me. I had it coming. I had it coming through my um, the Bluetooth radio. Your call, and the auto. Yeah. Okay. So it might have been, it been my end. Hold on, I'm dropping. I'm gonna drop off in order. No, it was kind of. It was kind of bad though. I have to. I have to work on it. I'm gonna look at it. You're done for the day. Lucky you. Yeah. I do, but I want to make more. You working this weekend? I'm going to work Saturday. Yeah. Well, you should I'm come and Say again? You should come and hang out with us. I could do that. Yeah. Tell D Rev to come too. He hasn't been around. He hasn't been on my stream in a while. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I try to hang out with everybody, try to get my rounds. Um, I've been dealing with my, my wife, my wife's sister, my mom. Yeah. They just, they just start to come around oh well that's good yeah i know you got a lot going on so i try to 
show my love to my people when I can, because, you know, you all my YouTube family. That's what I said. I mean it. So. Mm -hmm. You getting sushi worldwide? Or China worldwide? You get the chat? NGB worldwide? Oh, no, yeah, I know. We're going back. All right. He He's getting sushi. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I was on I was on your live stream with me and him was chit chatting too. You know, we were chopping it up. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he is a cool dude. Yeah, I, I subscribed to the channel way back. That stuff, so he's a cool that dude. Kid can't stop eating though. He's always eating. <laughs> he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Guy Reese from Fast and the Furious. I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> Loves him and our pockets they, and our pockets are fat now too. <laughs> yeah, I could come hang out with the the crew. <sighs> I need a I need a second wind. I need a second wind. I can't oh. I I came out too early. You know, sometimes sometimes if I wake up early, I'm like, oh let me go out here and see what's going on this early in the morning. And the answer is always the same. Nothing. <laughs> oh it's let like, me turn around. I feel I just got thirteen dollar plus. Oh. I feel you know, once you're up, it's like, man, I'm up now. I might as well go do something. Exactly. Oh, I feel you on that one. You know, half the time I leave over there, then I get an order and I got to go right back. Yeah. But no damn way I'm passing up a 13 plus for four and a half miles. How far out are you from, from where you have to go? Two and a half. Oh, yeah, man, that's good. Shoot, yeah. that ain't nothing. Shoot, I'll do it too. Look at this. Look at this in front of me. Look at this. this is a collection of bicycles. They turned it into like a, a fucking mountain of bicycles. Uh, I don't know why, but they did. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been up this far on this road, to be honest. So if it wasn't for my wife the uh, operation, I would have took those WrestleMania tickets. I would have been over there in PA all five, um, the whole week, because they have WrestleMania week starting Monday. Yeah. This Monday, yeah, I would have, I would have been there. I would have been in your city area. Isn't but, there stuff happening today? Because the hybrid hustler was down at the convention center for a Wrestlemania thing. Yeah, they also, um, if I'm not mistaken, tonight, yeah, I'm going to be watching this. It's going to be their Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. And then Wrestlemania Day 1 is tomorrow, and then Wrestlemania Day 2 is Sunday. But I'm going to work and hang out on Saturday because I can see both of them on Sunday. I can see Day 2 and Day 1 on Sunday because I have Peacock. So, I'll just watch it. But, man, I wanted to go. I was like, man. But, I'm going to do it next year. If everything happens good, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for next year. That's the man. I used to watch wrestling years ago. I mean, I know a lot of the older players, you know, like Roman Reigns and obviously Hulk Hogan. Um, yeah, Roman Reigns is still there now. He's still there. He's, he's the champ. Rest. Yeah, wow. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the the generation. Of, he came pretty much. He came in the Attitude Era, and they're, they're a little bit more than half the Attitude Era before the Attitude Era started dying out. He came with the Shield. That was uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. 
And what we went, they made up a, a fashion called The Shield. It's a three-man group. So they were dominant for a while. They came from NXT, then they came over to the main roster. Roman so. Reigns hot. Say again? Roman Reigns is sexy. Oh. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I used to say, I used to date this guy who was also big into wrestling, and we used to watch, like, the girls wrestling, and we, we would watch, like, um, some of those reality shows about the wrestlers. I forget the names of them at the moment. But I mm -hmm. would tell them, I would tell him, you know, if Roman Reigns stops by, that's my free pass. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Him and The Rock. God damn. Everybody, everybody loves The Rock. Yeah. My wife said, yeah, The Rock's my favorite. I said, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <coughs> gotta have your, gotta have your favorites. That's the, I said, yeah. Two pizzas and two orders of fries. I don't know what this is with people in Pennsylvania that eat French fries with pizza. It's the weirdest shit. See, back in the day, I like the I like the uh, China. I thought she was real hot and everything. Did you? God bless her soul. God bless her soul. She's not with us right now. But yeah, I used to like China. She was too muscular. Ah. They're trying to make Rhea Ripley like a new China. Uh, 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 upgraded version. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Red Ripley? Uh, see, Rhea I Ripley. I don't follow anymore. But yeah, like, Rhea Ripley. She just don't fight guys. She kind of she kind of do it away, but not like as a match. She kind of like jump, beat you up outside or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she don't do it as a match because that's what uh that's what China did. China would actually fight men, you know, right. at wrestling matches. Yeah. yeah. There's a few other girls in there. Man, I wish Alexa Bliss came back. I like her. Who? Alexa Bliss. She's a five foot. Five foot nothing. She's five feet zero inches tall, blonde. But she's probably not going to come back for a while because she had a baby and everything <laughs> and stuff I like that. Right yeah. Then you got the man, Becky Lynch. But she's married to Seth Rollins. But she's a cutie too. So this is how this is. I can understand them being on the road because I was away too. Like, you know, in the military, you're, on, you're away and you just with the military people for a long time so you're not with your family and stuff. But now they have it that you can be with your family and wrestling and stuff. But they don't really want to do it in the military too much because if you go at war, they don't want to have like both of y'all the same command. Right. Well, we call it a command or so something happens and both of y'all die. Hold on, George. I gotta go try to pick up my order. I'll be back. Okay, Burb. I'll put this up here. So I'm gonna have to hold it no more.
Alrighty, on the buck. All right. I'm just texting worldwide real quick. You what? Just texting the worldwide real quick. Uh, he just said something in the chat, so I'm asking the chat. He talks about, uh, I ate nice food because honestly, I never eat during work. So I starve 10 to 12 hours because I'd be too focused. What I told, I said, I got you. I went twice. I don't know why I does that. Then it goes, I said, I eat small portions throughout the day. Yeah. So, kind of like helps. I eat little small portions. I bring my lunch or something. Like Big Pal. Usually have something in there. Oh, there's the police. They got somebody lit up. Uh -huh. yeah, oh, they're so here. This little indent right here. They hide, uh -huh. they hide all the time right here. Right? And these morons can't see them. He hides right fucking here. So they get you when you go speeding. Well, the speed trap. Yeah, these guys over here are relentless. I heard you, man. It's you want a rematch. Am I? No, I'm not. Uh-huh. Uh you know? I heard yeah, you want a rematch. <laughs> Yeah, I heard you want to rematch. So worldwide here wants to go one on one against me. He's like, I want Red's head on a platter. Mm. <laughs> Man, he's going all out. He with your head on the platter. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to make it. Well, Red, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to take that challenge, Red. You're gonna take that challenge and tear him up. Gotta make it worth our well, listen though. He's got uh oh, is that George? Can, can, Mike Chuck, can you hear me? Yeah, I can is hear you. Just it's a swirling little circle right now. He's got um he's got similar but better than Prop twenty two. He's in Seattle. So he gets wait mm -hmm. time and if he's on a stack, he gets paid wait time for both of them, like double wait time. It's crazy. Um, but I still feel like I can beat him. So it's almost like being on the EBT. You get paid wait gonna time. Be real tough because of all that incentive stuff he gets. Now let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. um, does he get his does he get that pay like, right away? He was at or a restaurant the other day, he waited for 50 minutes and he got paid the 50 minute wait on both orders. Mm. Uh huh. Oh, that's similar like to like what EBT does. 50 bucks on both of them. Mm. Isn't that similar to what EBT does? You know, I don't like EBT you get wait time. I mean, a good peak pay. I mean, a good one. Yeah. Yeah. You see, EBT, you get, you get wait time. Once you accept the order, you get you get the wait time. You get paid going to the restaurant. So if you get in traffic or act or whatever happens, you know, school crosses and oh, now you're circling. I don't, know. I, I don't know if it's me or you. I'll, I know that I'm probably in a bad. Yeah, area, you're going in and out. But I'm standing still. I'm not even moved yet from the spot yet. Maybe it's me then. Oh, I should be getting yeah. to a better area. Yeah, EBT, you get wait time once you yeah, once you accept true. the order. To once you drop it off, you get all that time in between. Yeah. 
Yeah, but there's no way I can do earn by time at fifteen twenty five an hour versus what he has. Yeah. I'd get crushed. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to do it the old regular way. Oh just yeah. Multi app and cherry pick my orders. Oh yeah. But we're gonna have our uh we match after you do with him. And send him home. And then send him yeah, home Brian. Yeah, once you send them home, then you come come my way, and then you know, then we'll we'll have a rematch. I can go to work right, with of, both of you at the same time. Nah, I want to tell them because because it's, it's a it's a rematch. No, no, I want to re. You want a rematch? I want a one on one, mono on mono. That means there's no way. So if something happens to you. Concentrating on the NJD, and you forgot all about Hulk Smash, and this gets crushed again. Then you know I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear anything. So <laughs> mono, oh mono, go ahead and crush your NJB. Take them, tell them what you read first. Tell them, hey, I'm red. You're gonna know my name after this war, and then after right. that, then come my way. Right. Then come my way. Then we can have our, our war again. I'll let you do the states this time. I did them last time. That's only fair. He's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. I mean, if, if he could have said the other day, like, um, I think he's still practicing. What the fuck you oh, mean okay. you practice? And, uh, yeah. Because yeah. we could have went, like, this weekend. Mm. He wants a he wants a 24-hour war. Hmm. All right, I am almost at my drop. Let me see. Well, I don't want to do my time. Now. My other thing is to put up. But yeah, we can have a war this month. I'll get back with you to see. Uh, I'll I'll text you in Discord. You know, some dates again. But you're gonna put the stipulations in it this time. How's that? It's only fair. If there's any, I'm gonna say full out. I'm gonna say full out um, multi app. Hey, that's no. fine. I'm down no. with it. I got plenty of apps. <laughs> yeah, my hands were tied. I yeah, mean, being only DoorDash, and it happened to be mm -hmm. low for DoorDash that weekend. Mm, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so only made like four hundred and something. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Um, but we could do that. That was basically just to test test the markets out on EBTs to check uh, the EBTs EPOs, and we both were pretty yeah. much, you know, right there on both our stats and stuff. So we were pretty much even on that. So I said, okay, yeah. that's good. Well, you were. But we could do. It. Are you still at a hundred percent? Yeah, because I haven't been doing it. I just barely, I just barely made it so I can have top dashing for this month. Really? Yeah. But do you do earn by time all the time, and you take every single offer? No, I don't. No. I do EPO. It depends on where I'm at. Um, in my market, oh, I'll yeah. do. I'll switch to EPO. Now, I, I, I make my um, I go down to like ninety percent. You know, I try to stay at 90%. Once in a while, I might get down to like 80, 82. But, you know, that's really pushing it when I get down that low. But I don't go past, I don't, I try not to go past 90, but I get my that wiggle room if I have to go into the 80 percent percentiles. I'll do that too. But One now, second, I'm at my drop. Mm hmm.
1375. What's Jersey saying? The last drop was all over apartment new customer. She asked about the bag. Yeah, didn't he have a oh he has a six shipped. Six twenty AM pickup. He has a twenty eight dollar de uh, delivered tomorrow. God bless you guys for getting up that damn early. So George, what time oh, are you going yeah. to bed tonight? Um No, not you, the other George. Do okay. Georgie. I call him Georgie. Georgie, what time are you going to bed? If you gotta be up at six twenty. Excuse me. That's the flex calls me, Georgie. Does he? Yeah, he said, Georgie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's going on Roy's stream tonight. Uh, Roy's having a stream? What's the topic? I didn't care for the one last night at all. I don't know. Like, I, I don't think you can just blame somebody because of their gender. You got to look at the situation and then, and maybe it's not one over the other. Maybe it's both parties that are at fault. You know, mm. it's not a, this shit ain't working because you're a woman or because you're a man. It's, uh, anyway. So that's what, it, that's what it was about, about women and, and it men? Was, uh, uh, I think it was titled, Who's at Fault or Who's Wrong, Women or Men? Uh oh. Yeah, it wasn't my cup of tea. But what's the topic tonight? I mean, I always go check them out if I get notification, and I did happen to get a notification. But, you know, uh -huh. I don't always get notified notifications oh. like if Robert went live today I don't have a notification but, but I haven't been watching his garbage lately anyway I like his stuff I like his positive shows like the boardroom and I don't like the drama y'all don't have no dance off anymore I was wondering because you know he started it and then I was like huh I thought he was going to get that off the ground some more, that dance off. Should I just check all her? Sub to see who's alive. Oh, I, I see. So you go down over on that left hand side down the bottom. I just actually discovered that the other day. What? Down on the bottom left hand side, it tells you who's live of the people that you subscribe to. I just know even if you even if I'm on stream yard right now I have to, I have to no uh -uh. but I have to unsubscribe okay. to a bunch of people I, I I went through the other day when I noticed that because I was looking for Thunder's channel god damn it I couldn't find Thunder's channel for nothing um because he's got like three of them now um and I saw like I have like I was subscribed to like almost 400 people and a lot of them are shit that I just don't watch. And I, I don't mean gig people. I mean like for as long as I've had my YouTube account, I just don't like recipe channels and, um, or when I was interested in, 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 uh, what do you call it? Like overnight oats. I subscribed to a couple of, well, I, I know how to do it now. I don't need to be subscribed to. Uh-huh. Why did you unsub from Thunder? 
Georgie's frozen. Georgie's frozen. No, I'm not. Georgie, why did you unsubscribe from Thunder? I was reading the chat. Oh, because you want his new channel. So the way I had to find it the other day, even though I am subscribed to it, I still couldn't find it. I had to exclamation mark thunder in Flex's um, live. And then I got it. So yeah, what I have to do is unsubscribe to the other two. Because they're all in there. Uh, in order to find the right one, I have to click on, you know, all three. And no, my luck, by the time I get to the correct one, it's the last one I checked. The thing he had Robin on his show last day. Yeah. Had a thing. I couldn't really listen to too much of that. I mean, I was there for a good bit of it, but I'd have to hop. I, I was going back and forth, to be honest, between oh. Thunders and Royce. So I didn't hear a hundred percent of either stream. Oh. Uh, but I just I felt bad. I'm still here. I don't hear you though. Man, this is a shitty insecurity. Nobody's taking it. I mean, I don't blame them. 59 items for $9.69. Who the fuck would do some shit like that? How come when you type in it, you're coming up twice? Once with your wrench and membership icon, and the other time you're not. Are you typing on both channels? <laughs> you know what? That'd be funny if I am. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Never mind. I don't know what's happening. I think that's what it is because I got the other channel in the background, even though it's paused. Uh, I could be, I could be typing on that one, so I'm gonna let that one go, and then uh, let's see. Let me go see. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's nothing but a thing. It ain't no big deal. It just makes me. Curious what is happening. I mean, I don't. Know. Yeah, I know. I, I was but, seeing that. I thought it was something with a glitch with my end here, and then I said, like, "Well, I think I got you. I, I think I got the actual channel up on there behind." And I'm, you know, so. Why will Spark be popping soon, Georgie? See. Nope, it still does it. I don't know what's going on. That's weird. I don't know why it does that. Oh, war is coming on right now. Yeah. Uh. He hanging out with um, De um Dennis Jerome Jr. now. 
บอยมาแฮงกับแฮงมองอ่ะบอยบอยบอยบอยก็มาลองอ่านสิอาจจะได้ notification she's going live now yeah I'm not mistaken yet I just had the notification I didn't see l i g h t and get a notification. Dennis, the uh, the guy used to be called um, the, oh, the right. The Mason hustler. hustler. The right hustler. hustler, yeah. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. been yeah, he's all kind of names. Yeah, okay, so we're talking about the same guy. I just got the notification. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, I just told. Okay, I got the notification. Yeah, I don't know why that's right. That's crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it says comments will be posted to multiple channels. The host is streaming to multiple YouTube channels. Your comment will be posted to each live chat. So you, oh, is um, you dash and um, felon, dash and felon. Is that your f e l l i n live? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Okay. That's why I double. Oh, you're typing back here, aren't you? You're typing in Streamyard. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. All righty. Now we figured it out. It's like as if we type. Okay. I. Okay. I know. Because it says the host is streaming to multiple YouTube channels, so my comment will be posted on each c h a n n e I stream to Gig House and Gig Wars Official. Okay, um, so that's what it's well going. As, of, as well as some other platforms. Um, mm-hmm. No, I only stream. I don't select to stream to felons. He doesn't want anything going on his channel, like unless he's up there, you know, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, when he comes on, I always get the notification. Dash and Felon has posted a video, and that's how I know he's soon to appear. Uh huh. <sighs> that's how that works. Gotcha. That, that's how that works. You're gonna fire up Instacart and see what's up. I've only done one Instacart order today. Everything else has been trash. One decent one I missed. Well, no, it wasn't even decent. I wouldn't have done it. It was 18 miles. Okay, let me go check my phone and check my. Yeah, no, I do not have a notification about Roy. Real talk with Roy. Yeah, it just came on just now. He's uh, he's going live now. He's live That's right now. Pop- yeah, he just popped up again. All right, hold on. <sighs> no, nah, he's scheduled for nine o'clock tonight. Oh, okay. It just. Popped the up topic, again on my hand. The topic is transgenders in sports. Yes or no? I, I'm not going to bother watching that one. I don't think. Oh, there's the picture of his car. Did you see the picture of his car?
Wow. That's just who called? Roy's. It's on his community page. Somebody hit and ran him the other day. Back passenger door fucked up. Yeah, I gotta look at that to see. Hopefully he's alright. Then send him a text. And see how he's doing. $6 plus for one mile. All right, we'll do that. Go into an apartment, though. <clears throat> I don't know, George. Listen, my little nephew is, uh, what do you call it? Um, man, I forget the word. You know, he's a they, them pronoun. I forget the word. And he does, um, he does cheerleading with, on a girl squad. And I don't just mean like shaking pom-poms. I mean like the kind where there's <clears throat> the aerobatics and stuff. And mm -hmm. he's one of the kids that go like is on the top, like the top tier, top, you know, how they like stand on people's shoulders. Now he's just a little oh, wow. thing. Yeah, he's just a little thing. I had him explain it to me when I was home in October. I was like, listen, kiddo, you got to explain this shit to me. I don't get it. How, why am I supposed to call you they and them? There's only fucking one of you. <laughs> He's like, I get it, auntie. Yeah, I didn't put it in there. I have to correct you. I forgot. I'm um, I'm also subscribed to Real Talk Christina. And I saw Real Talk. I think it was Real Talk with Roy was Real Talk Christina. Cause he hangs out with her too. So they both got the similar thing. And then I saw it said Christina when it came on. So it's Christina and Dennis Jr. So. Oh, does she do content? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, she hangs with... She, 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 she goes with Real Talk with Roy. She's on Real Talk with Roy's stream. Roy's yeah. on her stream. And they both on Dennis's stream. So... Oh, okay. Yeah. And those are the two on now. It's Real Talk with Christina and then um, Dennis Jr. Well, wait, whose channel are they on? Roy's? No, they're on their own channel. They, they, they're catching it back and forth between themselves. But they're on live. They're on live now. Real Talk 
Christina and Dennis Jr. is on live now. But I'm sub to both of them. War is uh, not on live now. War is not on live now. So I got confused. Oh, I got That's a real talk. So I saw it was real talk with War. I forgot. I got also real talk Christina I'm sub to. So when I actually went to look, it was those two that's actually live right now. All right. So I wrote it in the, in the chat to correct myself, and then I just said it just now. I don't want people said I'm giving out false information. Yeah. All right, let me go see if this shit is ready, but I feel like it's not. It's $6 plus. It's a lot of items. I'm going to turn my car off.
I just snagged a $23 Instacart. Just a handful of items going one and a half miles. That's the building right there.
All right. He lives on the back side of this building. I'll be back. Uh, just a little over 5,000. How about you? Damn, George. Yeah, just a little over 5,000. And then, you know, all the other apps. Instacart shops do you have? Not batches, but shops. I think I have about uh, almost 900 shops. Hi, eights. Batch number, though, is like, I think, in the sixes. Like 698, maybe, batches. Yeah, so like, you know how it breaks it down out of your last 100 shops? Out of my last 100 shops, I've got about 2,100 items. So I think I've probably purchased roughly 20,000 things on Instacart. Oh, that only paid $7, by the way. It definitely was not worth fucking worth it. So I'm going to go do this. This was $23.98, I think it is. 
the shop should take me no more than 10 minutes and then the delivery is a mile and a half away. Seven items, nine units, and they have a flat $15 tip on it. done most of mine George in the last uh, since summer of 23 when I decided I was going for diamond prior to that I might have had what your numbers are because now to maintain diamond you have to have 200 shops So and I've been diamond, been diamond twice. So that's 400 right there. Okay, let me run in here. I'll be right back. Be right back.
right, I'm back. What up, Lisa? <clears throat> Lisa, it's been a grind today. A real grind. How about you? I miss you. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Just finished a small Instacart. Good thing it was a flat tip because I had to refund two things. Well, it was one item, two of them. Okay, one second, honey. <laughs> That's why I only come up here when Gig is here. He catches me like right away. <laughs> That's not fair. I got you once, Lee, at the last week. Baby. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, okay. I'm uh, actually doing really good with um, Grubhub today. Really? Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, that's why my that was my reaction. <laughs> well, I'm not going to question it, but I right. mean, I'm just I DoorDash just. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I might have just crossed. Uh, I'm just under a hundred on DoorDash today. I'm not worried, you know, not so much in making money anymore since we're not, but right. um, we still have to maintain those hundred orders every month. Oh, yeah. So not getting any orders does not help you maintain a hundred orders every month. Right. <laughs> so uh, I've been doing a little bit of earn by time. Our earn by time is 16 bucks per hour. I mean, uh -huh. I normally do it when it's there's a peak pay, but... Like yesterday, I sat for a couple hours. No orders. I get home and I'm like, why didn't I just throw on earn by time? They would have thrown me orders. And then they do. And then I just didn't want to go out again. So I just go. <laughs> yeah. But in order to get some orders, I, I just had to turn on the earn by time just to get anything. Well, listen, my AR is at 81%. And here's what they just threw me six dollars for 11.2 miles friday dinner isn't that crazy that is ridiculous so uh yeah i'm um doing grubhub and i got uh uber pet on actually i got 11 dollar surge mm -hmm. and um i was uh, i'm going to take an order but then grubhub it was a 24 miles so that would have been 48 coming back. It would have, you know, 48 all together. Right, right. And I'm thinking, well, it had $11 surge on it. and But then I got, on Grubhub, I got two orders for $22, 13 miles total. I'm like, go, oh, I'll take the Grubhub. Yeah. That's a no-brainer. What's going on? <laughs> I had a hey, speak of the devil. Hi, how are you? What do you mean, speak of the devil? She what said, did I do? She, she said she only comes up. She said, "Well, it's not what you. It's not you bring her. Oh, excuse me, you bring her. Bless up. you. Oh, excuse me. Thank you." I teased her and said, "I only come yeah, up here when you're here because you bring me up." Well, you beat me here yeah. today. I know, and she brought me up. After you, after she typed in, I'm backstage. I'm backstage. <laughs> yeah, me and Donna were in the voice chat all day, all day by ourselves, right? 
And I'm like, do you notice that we're the only two who've been here all day today? And she's like, yeah, it's been fun, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, I, uh, I worked my W-2 till about 3 a.m., then slept till like 10. Jeez. You lazy bum. Yeah. <laughs> You get to work from home and sleep on the job. Yeah. Whatever I've hours always, I want. I've always wanted a job like that. <laughs> oh, my bad. That was not a flat tip. So it went down by $4 over that fucking ice cream I had to reap on. Oh, dang. Hey, it's didn't, all right. Didn't, Pay $20 didn't help us. I was annoyed with that contract violation. Wait, did that go away? Not yet. Why'd you get a contract violation? So I picked up a Chipotle, and I'm pretty sure the guy ordered it to his work. Mm -hmm. But it was delivery to a sleep number. And the note said, I'm working there, and it's supposed to be handed to me. So called when I got there, texted, no responses. Waited out the timer, put it down, took the picture, submitted, done. Okay? Did exactly what I'm supposed to do. Right. Get home, I get a contract violation that on the label it says order never arrived. But then when I click it in the details, it says I didn't wait long enough for doing the whole process. Like, well, I can't well, do the whole process. <laughs> You can't take the picture unless the timer runs out. Correct, right. correct, exactly. So that's just screwed up. And then I opened my phone this morning and it says the first thing that opens on my screen every time I open DoorDash right now is you delivered extremely late. He cut out. That's, that's insane. What, what did it say? Right. I couldn't hear you. It's delivery extremely late. Wow. So you have two? <laughs> the, no, it's the, it's the same contract violation, but it doesn't oh. say anything when you open the contract violation. And the delivery time in my app was 10.50 p.m. I was there at 10.20. Wow. So, I don't know. It's all fucky. It's all fucked up. Yeah. But I disputed it, and that's all I can do, so. Yeah. Right, right. You said that was 1020. I know the last contract violation that I got, um, it was gone in about, I think it took like 36 hours. Damn. Yeah, it's not bad. Mine takes no, days to fall off. Oh. And justifiably, they could have actually made that one stick because um, I left it at that damn sports center that was like a fucking zoo. And I mean, I contact. Yeah, I fucking left that thing right on the sidewalk, took a picture and left. And she called me afterwards. And I'm like, lady, I contacted you. I called you twice. And texted you. She's like, I know, I know. I mean, they could have legit made that one stick. Mm. But it was gone. I texted in there. I told him, I said, she was at a fucking sports center with like thousands of people. I'm going to go into AT&T, see if what happened with my sister-in-law's phone plan before I actually start dashing. I'm not going to make a whole lot tonight. I got to run Munchkin over to Wisconsin, so. Aww. That'll eat up some time. How long of a drive is that? Oh, it's about 90 miles. Oh. That's quite a hike. That's quite a run. He lives in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the map looks like. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think of Wisconsin. I think of Chicagoland. Um, no, uh, very much the western side of Wisconsin. I think Donna said that when she thinks of you, she'll think of the Great Lakes, remember? And then yep. I said, I don't know where the Great Lakes are, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't doesn't really help when the Great Lakes goes all the way to New York. <laughs> all right, I'm at eighteen. All right, that's funny. I'm getting hungry. I'm definitely going to be working until seven because I got I I actually decided to jump on a block um, from Grubhub. And it's five thirty to seven. So I should turn on Uber. Uh, Grubhub's telling me that there's some sort of a quest, but I don't IDGAF. Yeah, they um, set me a mission too. Fourteen dollars for seven orders, and you get to. Let me look at it and see what it is, but I'm not turning it on. No, it says I have to log back in. I'm not going through that mess. Why? What happened? Oh, you know, every once in a while, it just kind of bumps you out, right? And for mm -hmm. some reason, I can't log into that one with my face. So I'd have to type in my email and password. And that's just more work than I feel like doing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Because I know I'm not going to do any of them. I can't believe how well I've been. I mean, this is, I'm a, I did two Grubhubs and I was up to $32 or something. And now I'm on a stack Grubhub right now. And this is paying for the two of them are paying $22. So I have Uber, Instacart and DoorDash on. So we will see. I'm tired. Yeah, I don't feel like working. We all day. We got our kitties today. I'm so excited. You have kittens? Just got them. They're a year and a couple months. Oh, just got them today from what the SPCA. What are their names? And they're both beautiful. Well, What's one they? came with a weird name. Ga uh -huh. a galley hop or whatever. <laughs> oh my God. And the other one came as Gavin. But obviously oh. those names will be changed. <laughs> right. Yeah, Golly Hop, I don't know. The lady was, I, when I was uh, walking through the SPCA and she told me their names, um, she's like, I don't know how it got this name. I said, they probably worked the overnight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that name would have came from. Wow, a nice big driveway for me to turn around in. Ooh, I'm, I love it. You know, I really miss the catering bag required on the weekends. Oh my God, I miss them all the time. Yeah. It's really sad. Although I had two this week. Nope, and between them, in a while. Paid, between them they paid $120. Oh no, a hundred and twenty eight dollars and eleven cents. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Wow. I 
took one order. It took me, I, I swear to God, probably, uh, what order did I take? Oh, Applebee's. Um, cast down, you, uh, like, headed towards West End, you make a left on, on Strode Avenue, and then anyway, yeah. It took me, like, I swear to God, 30 minutes just to clear this strip. That's why I will not. Dinner time, I won't go that way because all the lights. I, 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 like, I try to go these ways. On DoorDash or Instacart, huh? Yeah, see, see, it's no different. It's just anxiety medication. That's it. Yeah, I'm tired. They don't really do shit. Nine fucking hours ago, my ass left the house. Are you doing Instacart, Kelly, or uh, DoorDash? She does Instacart, too. How long has it been since I've seen you? You were leaving to go do something. I need like a fucking eighty dollar Instacart. It's Lisa, been so you slow. Met hmm. I was gonna say, have you met Kelly Ann? She does day trading by day. She lives in Jersey. And then she does the apps when she feels like it. So she hasn't left the house nice. in a couple of days. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. These apps are all over the place. I don't even know from day to day how much I'm making anymore. Until I get home and add it all up. Right. Well, I only made money on two apps today, so it's a little easier to keep that straight. I'm at about just under 200, like maybe 195 ish. Nice. I might be at 100. <sighs> What about yeah. your catering apps? No, I'm not one ninety. I had two so. catering. I had, I had two catering orders this morning. And you're still only at like a hundred? Yeah, they they paid, oh shoot, maybe sixty, seventy bucks. So Jesus. I'm probably over a hundred. I'm not sure how much, but yeah, yeah. The catering. I I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like that was my bread and butter for a long ass time. Yeah. I did good on them last week, though, because I had um, those two delivered that um, I got for, like, what was it, like, over $200 for those two days. Plus, I had to deliver that all week. Delivered sent me, uh, and I declined it, but they sent me a $110 Quadoba which is odd because I never see tips like that on Cordova because they steal the tips. Um, $110. 
I didn't take it though because the pickup was is about like 23, 24 miles from me. So that would have been 50 miles. I don't want to work in that area. Mm -hmm. I was just like, no. And you got to do the full setup. I'm like, you know what? That's a whole lot of driving and time. Right. Um, no. Maybe I'll find a good Instacart. And that's what I did. I made $73 in an hour and a half on Instacart. So. Now, on Delivered, I know on Delivered that we're supposed to do setups. So on Delivered, we're supposed to do setups as well? Yeah, if it's if it's Quidoba, yeah. Oh, I don't have a Quidoba. I mean, on Delivered, if you got a relish order, you have to put it on. It's kind of like a setup, but you have to put like the individual boxes in an mm -hmm. organized fashion on the black shelves. And if it's a smaller order, it's not a big deal. But if it's a big order, like I had one, that one a couple weeks ago where it was only a $25 tip, um, 93 boxes. Wow. And then the damn driver who got there before me, she spread everything out like she was at a fucking buffet. Oh, I no remember kids. you. You that. had to stack your shit. So then I had to organize First, I had to compound her shit so that I could put my shit. Yeah, I remember she, that. It was a pain in the fucking ass. It was not worth the 45 Well, when I think about it, I made $45 in an hour. But for an order that size, I should have made at least $75, $80. Mm-hmm. The shit took up my entire fucking car. Well, they had it in, in boxes, like, you know, boxes the restaurants get, like the paper towel boxes. And the, yeah, but those boxes still can be awkward when you're trying to put them in your car. Room. I think this order is actually going out to the city. I can't believe this is a Friday night. Like, our phone should be ringing off the hook. Well, I'm definitely glad that I threw Grandpa back. Because normally I don't, because. Usually just ne never sends me anything. And I decided to get on a block and actually haven't been doing bad. <laughs> Shockingly enough. When I canceled that order from Uber, they sent me back the $11 surge. Did they? Nice. Mm-hmm. I know, right? So I have it again. I had a $13 sticky surge, um, but I declined the three orders that they sent me. And then it went away. My best night on Uber, I made like 90 some dollars in about an hour and a half Dang. in four orders. Yeah, it was a Friday night and it was raining, and it was, <clears throat> and it was getting dark. The shit started at about ten to five. Oh, one second.
Oh, it looks like my door dash shift ended.
All right, I'm back. I had to had a phone call from the kid. What's up, Josh? What's up, Nick? What is that? Lisa, I'll drive by the wildcat. Why would I drive by the wildcat? Ignoring him. (laughs) Hey, Nick. Oh, no. We heard... I don't... I think Lisa's too far away from it, but apparently it was felt near Philly, too. I didn't feel it. Uh, Side hustle. Um... She heard it. She's in Long Island, and she, it woke her up. Wow. Yeah. Some lady, I see, I was driving. I didn't hear anything or feel anything, but there was a guy I was delivering, because I was delivering a catering order at the time, and he asked me about it, and he said that someone posted on Facebook that they they heard it, but it sounded like maybe an 18-wheeler coming down their side street. It was loud like that, but Mm -hmm. otherwise nothing. Ooh, I didn't hear nothing. I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel nothing. So why is Josh asking me to go by the Wildcat, did he say? I'm not looking at the chat. Because he's weird. I don't even know what the Wildcat is. His friend manages that place, and it's over out here in my area. Oh, he's got a friend all the way up there? He's got a friend all the way up here. He has no <laughs> friends, just a friend. <laughs> and his friend lives a mile down from me. That little bastard was supposed to take me to lunch. <laughs> this is why he doesn't have any friends. <laughs> Because he does not, he does not do what he says, right? He is supposed to wear a hoodie every Wednesday in February. That didn't happen. He is supposed to take me to lunch. That didn't happen. I'm about Boy, to Josh, block you're his not getting no points here. He just runs around trolling. Pathetic, really. I love Josh. I am me too. He's got so many faults that it's he's just great. I can't I can't blame I got I probably just got as many. We control also, Josh. (laughs) Josh doesn't troll very well because he trolls with his name. Right? So I don't know how what of a good how good he does troll there. All right, yeah, five man. guys. Have done that shit. I guess I'll have to take it because I'm on a I'm on a block now. Oh, Josh, bullshit! I didn't wear the the hoodie because you. No, deep down. deep down. You ain't <laughs> So if you want the smoke, come get it. Show doobie. <laughs> Where's your proper grammar? Josh had proper grammar at one time. I don't think I've, in the years I've known him, I don't think he's ever had proper grammar. Yeah, right. You just door dash eleven thirty to two and five thirty to eight thirty. I'm from the town. This is how we speak. What town, Josh? What town? <laughs> That's okay. He was doxed the other night on UDM stream. He was everybody what? knows he was doxed on UDM stream the other night. Everybody knows what town he was. <laughs> Oh, they named his town. Well, where, they, they where he they, lives or works. 
And where he works. I don't think that they know where he lives, but... No, where he works. It was funny. I, was, I didn't think anybody was going to catch that. I caught that. Somebody else caught it. <laughs> I'm from the town. This is how we speak. You got a good order? I'll be gone. I'm about to go home. If I don't get something real soon, I'm out. Thank you. Yes, sir. Be safe. Why don't you put on Earned by Time just to get any no. orders? No. No. <laughs> no. I mean, no, I got a couple, but I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Um, Josh, do you know that everybody is from a town, right? Everybody is from a town. I'm from the town. This is how we speak. Doesn't say much about the Pennsylvania school system. Right? Instacart says I'm in a great spot for a batch. So how come they're not giving you any? Well, there were two recently, but I didn't take either one of them because I was like, nah, I can do better. Like, I'm not going to go shopping, check out, and deliver your grit. Like, I want a banger. I'd rather, I'm at the point where it's either going to be a banger or nothing. <laughs> like, I'll take my, I'll, I'll go home. You know. You will smack Lisa. Yeah. He will. <laughs> he says that every day. He goes, I'm going to smack you. He does it to me, too. I send him a a Zifty screenshot and he snagged the order and he's like, thank you, because I wasn't looking at my phone. I was like, I'll take my cut then. He said, I'll smack you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and come and smack me. First, you got to catch me. And then after that, you got to avoid my chair leg. I'm from the town. This is how we speak. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, Josh, it was really quiet in uh, the chat today. It was just me and Donna. And it was really quiet, actually. <sighs> Did you go on the rides, Josh? We didn't get no pictures. It's kind of cold to be going to Hershey Park. Oh. You know what I don't like about Uber? Yeah, you know, the shopping pays is that you have to shop at the store that they say. All right, there's one, and it's bad. We're not doing that. So now I'm going to start driving my car home. for education stuff. Okay, I got it. So what you're saying, oh, what grade is she in, Josh? I'm 
setting them up. I'm setting them up. So what you're saying is the junior is a lot smarter than you. These orders suck ass. I'm going home to make a Hello Fresh. can go. Remember Giga went and um, uh, to check the um, his sister in law's plan at AT&T? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I kept Instacart on just in case a banger comes through. going to do ride share. Especially in Philly, are you? I don't like to drive in Philly. Oh. So did any orders come your way? You did? How was that, Josh? Were you nervous? Did you get stuck down there in like the queue and all that bullshit? And don't you have to have an Uber light in your window or something to do the airport? You drove a hooker. Were you taking her to a <laughs> private client? Were you taking her to a client? So she told you, hey, I'm a fucking prostitute. <laughs> He told us yesterday that um, he took a lady. Uh, yeah, I don't know where he took her. 
to, and she has her own uh, OnlyFans. She's, I think, on Twitter is where she wow. posts all her nude pictures. He says, the pick up, picking up is a waste of time. I sat in the queue for 35 minutes before I got a ride. Okay, so you'll go all the way down to the airport, drop somebody off, and then you'll leave? Because as soon as you get off airport property, then you'll start getting other shit. A traveling hooker. Wow. Wow. He said she was a traveling hooker too. I think he was talking about the um, girl with the only with the um, OnlyFans page. He talked about yesterday in the Discord. So you work around the airport. And so now, listen, when you're off airport property, right? Will you get a ride for a pickup at the airport? Oh, you work in the area, and hopefully, you'll get a ride to go back to the airport. All right, I'm in my driveway. I'm going in the house. Do you want me to end the stream or you want to hang out? Oh, no, no. Go ahead and end it. Okay. You have a good night. Right, Bye, Josh. Bye, guys. Everybody be safe. Make that money. Bye-bye. Bye, Lisa.